All right. Oh, biffed it. Totally biffed it right there. That was that was not wise. Hey, look at the arrows pointing right in my head. No, over the side. Biffed it right there. Uh, hello. That's also very close. Try to move it without making a lot of noise. Um, slightly different setup today. Uh, different headphones. Hopefully they'll work for me. Uh, I should give y'all some music. Uh, again, I can't play the copyright music that I'm listening to, so I have to just have background stuff going. But um, hey, nice timing. But like seven seconds. That was perfect. Uh, like I still haven't even like I haven't had yet my traditional sip of the drink. So cheers. How you doing? Um, I was just about to say. So it's kind of messed up. My I I use a I don't know if you may have seen it yesterday, but I've got a page that I have that has all of my like fast links on it that runs off of a little uh, MAMP server. Mac, Apache, MySQL, Perl, Postgres, PHP, whatever. My machine updated and that doesn't work anymore. So like I keep looking at this and I keep like I'm stuck every time I look at it. It kind of messes with me. Sleep deprived, but good. Hey, sleep deprived is all right every now and then. As long as the good's there out there. It's so sleep deprived and not so good that it gets like, okay, rest. Um, yeah, I, I I definitely have hit the I think I said last night. Like I gotta I gotta get some rest every now and then. And by every now and then I mean like every twenty four hours. Um, otherwise I go I just I can't function. Like it's not worth it. Um, but yeah. Today's Thursday, right? So one more day for the traditional work week, if that's your thing. Um Kind of is for me, even though weekends happen too, right? Um, okay, so this is that. This is my... Oh, this is interesting. That's actually what we're going to mess with. Uh, so the thing that's going to happen tonight is I am going to blow away my website and start it over. But, like, in a good way. Uh, oh, all the red ones are drafts that I haven't done yet. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> That's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, yeah, I think I talked a little bit about this last night. I know I talked about it at the start of the stream. I don't think I got it towards the end, but um, there's this idea floating around now, the digital garden, which, yeah, intersection of a notebook and a blog for digital gardeners. Oh, I've actually seen this. I think this is the one. I just been kicking around on it, but like it's a whole idea of just a different way of thinking about your website and not worrying about stuff being as polished or as whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna like start building, and I'm gonna do it in scratch or oh, like not from scratch from scratch. Like I got all the content, um, but I'm just gonna start messing around with it and then not worrying about it, not worrying about it being perfect or whatever. Uh, I did some messing around the other night. Let me see if I can find that window. That's what I need. I need this window to come over here. Uh, actually, I need to do one more set of cleanup because that's in the wrong terminal and that is going to confuse me always. So we're going to move it to the right terminal. Uh, just so you can see, I've got two different terminal windows, right? Or two different, I use two different terminal apps. Um, HDS is for Hugo, no, not DS. Hugo serve feature, there we go. So that's gonna serve up my site. Yeah, and like, so I, I played around with styling for a little bit two nights ago. And I, like I had some kind of ideas about what I wanted to do with some stuff, but as I started throwing things around, where I kind of got to is a place that I will show you momentarily when I remember where I put it. Uh, Django, DG, Django, what are options? Tools? Nope. Django's garden. No, scratch pads. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. Music test. Where'd it go? Oh wait, is it just toolkit? 
There it is. Okay, so... Python run server. Little hotkey there. Okay, so that's running. So all I'm going to do is... I'm actually I'm going to take a, a kind of a different route than I've seen before. And number nine is it. So this is it. This is what I'm going to build. And just completely not worry about things like a header or a footer or any of that. It's just going to be a whole bunch of these tiles that will then link off to other things. But I'm just going to start here and not and like not worry about it. Um, so this like I mess I did like a bunch of these yesterday um, or a couple days back. So I was like I was just playing around with this uh, stuff and I was like, ooh, what if we do colors over there? Whatever. And like that's those colors aren't great, but like whatever. But then I just kept refining and kept refining. See, I may go to something like this at some point, right? With little icons. Cool. But like for now, this is the one that's got my attention. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just a grid, yeah. <laughs> it's like the simplest thing ever. Um, but what's funny is I haven't seen a website that's like this for a person, but I have seen some like link bait sites that are like this. So it's a little bit weird that I'm doing like a link bait type thing. But also I just think, I don't know, I think it'd be an interesting experiment. So we're gonna we're gonna run it. Um and what's super nuts is I'm gonna hand code this to start with. Um hand code, whatever. Uh so here's the existing site on localhost. And the thing that I wanna do is figure out. So I've got another little command. Um, Sublime text Hugo gets me to my Hugo site, which is here. Uh, so this is the local local version of my Hugo site. And now I just have to figure out how to actually do this. Uh, so step one is get off the leg that's asleep and move to the other leg. Uh, ba, 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 layouts index. See, I gotta find. The build of this page, so main introduction pages pages. So if I comment that out, what disappears? Everything. OK, perfect. So that's we're on the right page. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's going to do all the pages. Oh, I didn't think about that. Hey, let's see what happens. Like, I'm again, I'm like not. I'm just going to make progress on this and I'm going to do it live, like literally on stream, but also like out on the site. Like, I'm not going to worry too much about breaking links right now. I'm not going to worry about SEO. I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. I just want to have this thing to play with again. It's been so long since I've just had a website to play with. That's what I'm looking That That's my goal is just play around with a thing. Uh, so here we go. So paginator, we're not going to need either. Well, how about we do this? Let's do this and this and this. So step one, can I rename here? Rename. Legacy. Everything broke. New file. Blah, blah, blah. I wish Sublime Text would let you save it directly in there. Oh, you know what I should do? I should use VS Code. I'm going to go to code in a second. Is that right? Now what happens? There we go. Oh, yeah, it automatically updates. I do like that about. Um, yeah. It it took me a second to get my head around code, mainly because like when, every time you open it, it gives you that welcome screen. And every time I see that, I was like, I don't want to deal with that right now. I've got too much other junk going on. So, and like, that's the worst reason ever to not like look at a thing. Um, but it got me. I should update that command to go to Hugo at some point. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, get out of this. Uh, oh yeah. The other website that broke normally starts up my stream notes. That didn't work. Everything's everything broke with that. But it's okay, because I'm actually moving to Django anyway, so I was looking at migrating away from that. So now it's like, I'm not even going to worry, worry about fixing it. Like, it's it's dead. So, see ya. 
I don't, actually, wait a minute. You can do this here, right? So, uh, nope. CD woodshed site prod code dot, right? Gets me there, maybe? I think that's it. Prod, content, all the content. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sweet. We're here. Oh, yeah, code file name. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. See, this this kind of messed with me. I was like, I just opened a file and like all this other stuff here, like recent stuff, tools, languages, like I don't want to deal with that. And legitimately, I didn't realize, I didn't notice the tab structure and that I could just do like this. And then when I finally did, like this stuff still bugged me. It's like, I want a clean slate. I want nothing there. Nah, whatever, it's fine. Uh, sweet. So, tail is our thing. We're in layouts, we're in index. Is it still alive? Ooh, look at that field set. We just made a field set. Uh, it's not still updating. Why isn't it still updating? Did I kill it? Which server on? Yeah, they, there's an X. <laughs> it's amazing. The power of X. It's like a X-Men thing. Maybe, I don't know, that was awful. Why didn't that work? Stand by, please. Please hold. Refresh. Okay, that got it. Why you know auto update? Oh, that's a bummer. Hang on. I want to fix that because that's going to be a pain if I have to actually refresh every time. No, that's busted. That's busted. Actually, I'm going to keep that open. Uh, look what this. Uh, whatever. P. There. Now why is it working? All right, give me one second because I want to. That's going to be less of a fun thing if we have to deal with that. I mean, whatever, it'd be fine. But uh, extensions live server for you see. Oh, interesting. I'll look that up in a minute. Hugo is supposed to have it built in. I'm just not sure why it's not triggering right now because it triggered here, I think, right? Am I in the wrong place? Themes, tail, layouts. So there's that. It used to update. One more time. I wonder if I, something I took out broke it. How about that's it? Hang on a second. Let's see if I can figure this out. There's nothing there. That's what's going on. Uh, something in here. Probably this right here. All right. I'll bet it starts working again. Uh, let's just do this. Hello, world. Localhost, hello world, again. There it is. Okay, sweet. And I'll bet that works in code too, so I can close this out. For a third time. So it says for a third time. Sweet. Okay, there we go. Now we're working. Uh, yeah. So like, I really this first part's gonna be pretty quick. Um, I think. Uh, see, I just jinxed myself. I'm not going to put a header in there. We're going to take the header away. Um, <laughs> look at the big brain on Brad. Layouts. I'm guessing defaults. What's this calling? Define main. Main, main, end. 
but it's got to be wrapping it somehow. Partials, maybe. Head. There we go. Look at that. Uh, actually, the other thing I want to do. Whoops. That was the wrong thing to do at all. I can't hit anything right now. Uh, open dot. Let's just make a, like, this is in Git. I know I can go pull revisions and do all that jazz, but like, I'm just going to duplicate the directory. Cause that way, if I need something, I can just go grab it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Sweet. Okay, so here's head. So I'm just going to nuke site. This is for external target CSS. Uh, this works, but no source mat map. Excuse me. That's all this junk. Whatever. So this is for the server. Oh, it minifies. Okay, so this actually drops CSS in. Oh, okay, that's gonna be interesting. Um, favicon, whatever. Okay, that's the head. Okay, screw it. I don't care about any of that stuff right now. Um, what we do care about is make sure we didn't get jumped out of the directory when we did that. Uh, layouts, default, partials. Header menu. So that's just going to become nothing. Header. Site title, class nav, also going to become nothing. Uh oh, did I kill a server? No, it's live. Oh, come on, why isn't it going? What did I do? I'm in there with a hatchet right now, so and I can't even take stuff away. It's funny. Uh, main, that should work. Right, we're here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, maybe just had to update something like in one of the non-partials. Sweet. So what's in here right now? In head, start body, it's got a main and a footer. Okay, cool. Where's the footer? Goodbye. Uh, we'll leave the main in there. So it's doing, actually let me back all the way out of the header. Uh, I'm going to read all, I'll just rebuild all this stuff later. Like, I just don't want to mess with it right now. Okay. I'll leave the title. Um, viewport scale is home description, site description, site params content. Okay. That's okay. Um, Title, so site is server, in server mode, site in server, CSS target is CSS. Oh, this is what lets you see the CSS stuff. Okay, so now what I need to do is go grab. Dev toolkit. So I'm using a library called Tailwind. Uh, which I saw on one of the discords that I'm on. That some people are like, ah, it looks awesome. So I just grabbed it. I, it's been a long time since I've done CSS. Like version one long time. So I just banged around with it until I figured out what was going on with it to do that base little bit. Now I just got to figure out where I put it static. And this is going to be ridiculous. This is another example of I'm just going to go with it right now because this styles file is for Meg. That ain't great. 
but we'll just fly with it for right now. Oh, cool. I may have questions for you. Uh, especially after I get this first little bit done. Because um, it's tremendous changes since the last time I was in it. Um, and it's cool. It's awesome. I just don't know all the new stuff yet. Uh, where are we doing this work? Dev? No. Alismith.com. Prod. Static. Wait. Why is there nothing there? CSS. Content? CSS? No. Public. No. Resources. Where does it load from? Oh, it does all this... Ah, oh, crap. It does all this assembly stuff. <coughs> um, I don't know how to deal with that right now. Because it like does all this magic behind the scenes with SCSS. Which I guess I could just throw... Oh, don't do that one. Okay, so I could just throw the entire file in here. I think. And then if I update this one, uh, where was that? Assets? Tail. Tail SCSS. Tail. Cause see, like you can just put CSS and SCSS, right? We think. It's a question. Uh, here, let me rename the file to SCSS, even though it's not. Tailwind. Huge. Tail. Tailwind. Huge. I gotta flip it to SCSS, okay. We shall do that. And let me just make sure I really am in the right one. Yeah, okay, so assets, SCSS, tail. We'll get all the rest of that out of there. Uh, of course, I don't have anything on the page. Oh, yeah, okay, so I think that's it. I think that worked. Oh. Makes perfect sense that you can do that. I don't think I realized that. <laughs> Perfectly obvious now that you say it. Um... Okay, so I th style sheet, SCSS style. Oh yeah, if I click on this, that should show me, right? Maybe. Okay, it is calling it, I think. That doesn't look like enough files or enough. That's not four meg worth of stuff. This is four meg worth of stuff. It just hadn't refreshed yet. Okay, there we go. So there's all the stuff. And there's stuff out there that will let you, you know, trim this file down and like build only the stuff that you need. I don't know how to do any of that yet. But again, I just want to get this thing going. So I'm willing to burn time and or I'm willing to burn cycles and, you know, a few seconds download uh, to get it going. And that can be a thing that I optimize. OK, that's cool. So we're good. So let's do this. Um, move homepage, HTML, and add Tailwind. Tailwind. Sweet. And so when I was in CSS1, I would do the same thing. 
like bootstrap was out there a little bit when I was doing some stuff, but I knew enough about it that I could like make my own stuff. I'm just, I'm so far removed from it now. And the tailwind stuff was actually really easy to do once I got my head around it. Um, it's, it's really well named. It's, it works well for somebody like me who doesn't know tremendous amounts about CSS. Um, there are still some things that confused me, but by and large, it took, I mean, it took me, I don't know, on stream, it took me a couple hours to figure stuff out and then get to where I was actually working on things and, and making it move around and, and coming up with that little grid that I like. Um, that is ridiculous. Like, I recognize that's ridiculous, right? But like every now and then you got to jump into the ridiculous and see what's happening. Okay, so that's that. So I think we've got that in place. And so now I think, and this is one of the other things, right? I'm really like, I'm not building anything. I'm just throwing some code. But I love the idea of like gardening. This is just like that little like planting the first seed stuff. Um, site page file that I'm looking for is under. I've also been moving stuff around recently, so I don't remember where anything is right now. But I think. Let's throw this to a different thing, just so we have it in a different thing. Throw to Sublime Text. Oh, actually, is my font size? Did I do my font size here? No. I try and keep the fonts big enough that you can, that if you're on a, like a smaller device, you can see what's going on. I think that's it. It's gonna look giant. Not, oh yeah, look at that number. Uh, index. Oh, that's the index file again. This one? That's it. Okay, that's maybe a little aggressive. We're gonna back that off by like one. Oh. All right, so. The body tag, it does have a main. I do want to go back and do the mod, uh, the modi, the body. But we're just going to throw the main in here right now and see what happens. There you go. That updated fast. Whoops. I was expecting that to happen up here. That's going to be it. Uh, cool. I mean, that's obviously all lore mips and content, um, but we're going to address that here shortly. So I do want to add the body tag into that. Header? Nope. Head. Is that where the body tag is? Nope. Menu? Where'd our body tag go? single it wasn't in this one was it no oh where does that come from doc tape body so that's base of okay head see i don't know i don't they're just assembled pieces, right? They're all included somewhere. Um, let's just paste in and see what happens. We don't need that though. That was it. I got the background. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, funnily, I don't have links to anything now. I'll have to, oh, hmm. How am I going to find pages? Oh, I guess I can just look at the file structure and find pages. 
because it's all like Hugo is just a static site builder, so they're all just sitting there. Um, uh, you say that. This is like step zero, right? <laughs> Next is going to actually be like trying to put content in. That is where I think things are going to get trickier. Because uh, I got to figure out how to pull in pieces of content. So I could just like hand code stuff, right? But I, and for some of these things, I'm going to actually just like hand code things that I want to put in. But like, I want this to be pretty big and I need it to actually have automated stuff behind it. So like, that's going to be, you know, the immediate step that we do next. Um, I guess I also need to at some point write something, but I won't. I'll do that off stream. Eh, maybe we'll do a little bit on stream. We'll see what happens. Writing for me is one of those that can take a very long time to make not a lot of words um, because I do them many, many times. Uh, all right, so we got this going. So I guess we could have taken out the header and the footer stuff here. Oh, here's block main. I got it. I didn't know that that's how that worked. And then inside index. Nope. There's like eight indexes floating around here. Define main. Okay, so that that's what pulls it out. Gotcha. I learned a thing about Hugo. Uh, all right, so these are good. And also, okay, so now we can just figure out how to do this. Um, I'm gonna back out all of these because I know they're all it, they're all just repeats of each other with the exclusion of this first one. So I'm going to leave two of them there. This should give us one row. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello world. Welcome to my digital garden. You're seeing it. in progress. I don't know. It's new. Stuff is broken. But it's alive. Whatever. Cheesy, but fine. Um, okay, cool. And then... On digital gardens and the things we dig about websites. Hey, look, some links are going to show up here soon. I just want slightly like this is the Federalist Papers that's going on right now, and I want to get something that's like you know at least something that I've written and not Alexander Hamilton. Um, not that that's bad, but like. You know, whatever. So here's... Mm. I'm going to play around with the spacing on this a little bit at some point. Because I had... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um... Oh, see, now I don't want to know what I want to put in there. Um... So yeah, so some of this too is not going to be coding. Some of this is actually me like working on the site, like not the code stuff, but like the content stuff, um, which is all, it's all part of it. It's working on the site, but like there's those are obviously two different modes. Um, so just be forewarned that some of this is not going to be like coding, coding, or coding at all, really. Uh, so. Daily, actually, daily chapters is a good one. Most days I read, I try to read a chapter in a book. And so this is this is actually one of the interesting things about the whole like digital garden thing is like, here's a couple recently. And actually, I'm not sure what this is going to do. So let's, whoa, why would that go down there? And then let's put a UL in here and let's put an LI in here. 
And let me find daily chapter. That is the old list. Oh, it's in the other one. Just waiting for dinner Jackson. Cool. I just ate. Oh, was, took wait. I wait. Ate, I waited late to way too late to eat, and I was starving. So. All this stuff is in content. Because it's like the content tree. And one of the, so one of the other things that I'm interested in trying to do a little bit is figuring out a better way to do this because I've got like a thousand pages and like each one is a directory. And so like, it's not the greatest. It doesn't affect the user experience on the website, but it's kind of a pain sometimes to go find stuff. Um, for example, I am looking right now for daily chapters. Daily chapters. There's the file. Not exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay. We'll take it. What does that look like? That's not bad. And then here's where things are going to get funky. Uh, I think that's it. Yep. Clearly, we need to edit this page. Um, yeah. Okay. So here, here's where the actual programming and figuring stuff out is gonna is gonna happen. Um, how can be tedious? Yeah, to get through that directory structure. Um, yeah. There's no there's no content management system on it. Um, so you just kind of dig through it and find them. I, so I've got. I did put something in there though. This isn't gonna work because that other website. Oh, it's not gonna work at all because I took all the stuff down. Uh, there's links right here that on my local version, these links point to a local website that when I click on them opens this particular file or the file that is the source for this page. So it's not exactly a content management system, but I can at least open them instantly. Um, that, of course, is off of the server that broke, so those links don't work right now. They did yesterday. Um, but again, I'm not worried about that because that server, like, uh, I don't need to worry about, I'm not going to spend effort rebuilding that server because I was already planning on making it go away. Now it's just going to go away faster because it's gone and the replacement's just going to happen faster, which is cool. Like, it gives me incentive to do it. Um, so that that linked, so that's perfect. Um, let's figure out what we want to do with this page. I didn't think about the secondary pages. Um, so it is calling, oh, interesting. It's going to call the same stuff. I think single host info. No. Okay. That's not it. Footer header head, paginator. Paginator's always one of my favorite titles. Nope. I swear I can never find my way around these. It's like they move every single time. Well, like, where is it? Paginator, header, footer, title, index? No. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Single. All right, so I think this is it. So one of the other things I'm going to do with this is a little experiment. I'm not going to have next. I don't think people use the like the next post forward post things very much. So I'm actually just going to nuke it. Um, so we should see, hopefully, yeah, those errors went away right there. Um, single footer, single header dot content. Okay. 
Oh, here, yeah, so this is my links to open it when they work. This is just, that only shows up on my dev site. Um, so to start with, I'm just gonna copy all this stuff directly in to main, just cause it's, I, I find it easier to cut stuff out than to add it back in. Um, let me just see what that does. Okay, there we go. And so here, it doesn't really need to be on the grid. So let me get rid of these things. Let me take the grid out of here. And let's put this, let's just put this in. That's really the content, right? Let's see what happens. Well, it made progress. Uh, okay, we did need some of that other stuff. Let's maybe back into that. Got it. All right, so let's take these out one at a time. How about that? We'll be slightly less aggressive. So that one's gone and this one's gone. And now we're on the homepage one. All right, again, I'm not I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to say... Well, I'm actually curious why it didn't work. Oh, because it's got to have... Whatever, so we know... Shadow and small call span, call span. So I'm just gonna do call span of four because the other ones had four. So this should, I think, stretch the whole way. And then let's see, I don't know what's gonna happen though if we do this. It's gonna survive. Eh, not great, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, like database is super nice. Um, Now here's the trick though. How that's too wide. I don't want to I don't want it to be all that size. So what if we did Where's our index? I don't know what P3 means. Padding three. P is for padding. Alright, again, this is just messing around. Um So let's do this, and let's do this as three. I think we can take this out. So, so these call span. So it, it's a grid of columns. One is a base set of columns. If it's a small screen size, it sets the number of columns to two. If it's a large screen size, it sets it to three. Extra large, it sets it to four. And so this is an extra large view, basically. And then it's going to pop down. Like if we look at the home page, it pops down to that's just three because this is two plus one, right? And then blah, 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 blah. And that's how you shrink it. Um, but yeah, so what if. Because I don't, I'm not, a, uh, I need to look at this. Wait. Where's reality? See, I keep, I keep these things scaled to make them easier to look on the feed, but then it messes with me. So how, hmm, interesting. Yeah, I think. Here, first steps first. Let's get the, uh, let's get the content in the place and then we can start messing with it. So I think we copy this and do this here. Take that out. Let's see what we get. We put it in the wrong place. That is also the wrong thing. I am on the wrong train right now. Uh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Forward up. 
There we go. Copying. Pasting. Finding the thinging. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to want to have the title in there, right? Uh, why do I keep doing that? There we go. Single title partial. Let's see what that does. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. I'm not angry at that. I'm also going to drop tags. So now we need to find partials, single, title. My goodness. Go to this. If drafts equals true. Oh, that's how I know if it's a draft or not. That's cool. We're leaving that. Post info. So... Time publish. I'm actually not sure which parts of these are what, um, but I'm pretty sure we can get rid of these. Range, element, index, element value, term, get tags. Okay, so I'm dropping tags. If publish date. Hmm. I'm debating whether or not I want to keep publish dates on here. I rail against websites that don't put dates on stuff. But I think I might take them off. Or maybe I'll just put it at the bottom. Yeah, let's put it at the bottom. Maybe. I don't know. Let's start with it gone. We're just, I'm just, we're going to slash and burn. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And then, yeah, no, I, they, the days will end up back in there. I'm not sure, I don't want to put them in to start with yet. Like I'm, because especially for me, like if I go back and I'm looking at an article, especially like a tech article, I don't mind if it's from 2015, but I want to know that it's from 2015 because I'm going to go do a little extra research and make sure that that answer is still valid. If it's from three months ago, I'm still going to do a little bit of research and like bounce around a little bit, but I'm being much more confident in that answer from three months ago than the one from five years ago. I don't have a problem with them. I just want to know. And so dates will end up here. I just don't know where yet um, and how. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out, right? That's part of it. Um, okay, so I'm pretty confident that I can make that happen. So I can get rid of this other stuff down here. All this jazz. Uh, right? This log is away. Post info title. Because we pulled up the title. We're not worried about post info. Oh, these are dev links. I do want this. Because this won't show up. Uh, actually, let's do them below. Why not? Just so it doesn't interfere with the visual of the content as much. But yeah, this is going to be funny. Like, I'm not going to have a homepage link. Just see what happens. Why is this? I don't understand this. Does it work? I guess that's the biggest trick. Why am I not tapping right? Okay, yeah, those work. Goodness. That'll be fine. Oh, actually, we can take it and move it below the div. Uh, no, that's a bad idea. Because the div is where the content is. That's fine. Okay, that'll be cool for now. So, tricks become... I lied. I want it up top. Yeah, it's fine. And it's 
it'll be grayed out more. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. You could actually do... Well, so I'm going to put other notes over here. And then when you hit the bottom, I'm going to have other notes across the bottom as well. Again, all these just little cards floating around. Um, but let's get daily chapter. Let's get the title looking like a title. So it's in an H1, which surprises me that that doesn't actually do something. Um, I need to pull up Tailwind. Oh, I had such a hard problem finding their docs. Start learning. Oh, okay, 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 here it is. It's around the, like, when I first looked at this, I was looking at it like this, and that sidebar wasn't there. And I missed this the first three times through to open it. And I could not find stuff. Whoops, too big. Uh... header in there. It's funny that they don't have font weight line spacing. Font size. Uh, and I'm just going to apply this class. Like, I, I don't know why the other stuff isn't working, but like, there may be something in there that gets you going with... Uh, that's too big. Um, let's try a three there. How about that? That's more reasonable. Um, I'm, there's probably stuff in there that turns headers on or does some other stuff. but like, Or maybe it's just purely semantic and you actually have to style everything, which is an interesting approach. Um, the, and I... Makes... Oh, sure. I, I'm into it. Whatever. Uh, okay, that's got that. Now, I have some confidence that we can take the rest of the stuff away. So let's get rid of it. Whoops. Did a weird bloop there. So I think that's all that. That's all that. Clean that up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Somebody make the aisle five joke. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's really gonna mess with me, but I'm not gonna have a homepage link. Like, it's just gonna be these tiles. And sometimes the tiles are the content, sometimes they link you to other things. And sometimes they'll have the bigger tile, like if we do this, right? Oh, so here's the more. Uh, okay. So let's capture that. Whoops. Add uh, basic post page. How about that? Um, this is still gonna be there, that's fine. But we do wanna have some spacing around it. So I guess if we're doing the thing, we could do this here. Well, yeah, so we could do, so in Tailwind, it's margin, bottom, two, I think. Mm, I think I added some space. Four? Yes, I added some space. And the trick is, I'm, I gotta look at not this line, I gotta look at this line. Um, actually, I wonder, can you... I can float that, right? I may have a CSS question for you here momentarily. First off, I need this where I can actually see it. 
So there's an A, there's an A, there's a P. Okay, I guess I see what's going on. Catalog time doesn't, that's not a th thing anymore. Uh, how do you float stuff? Oh, see? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, I am a dinosaur when it comes to this stuff. How, okay, how, uh, te teach an old man new ways. How do I make this go over here? That's what I'm looking to do. Because you used to be able to do, like, float left, right? Or float right, whatever. Um, float right. CSS. Hey, this is from October 5th, so it's not... Oh, yeah, so just float right. Okay, that's it. Class equals float, float, right. Is that going to do it? Let me find it. Nope. Oh, well. Float right. Does it not work on P's? Oh, a, a paragraph is a full thing, right? If you did it as a span, would that do it? Nope. Uh... All right, hang on a second. I know Tailwind has stuff to address this. Position. Oh, you could do like stat. Yeah, you could do all that jazz, but I don't want to get into that. That breaks my head. Object position. Can we do object right? See, I looked at this the other day, and I don't know what this actually is. That did not work. I would position absolute that on top zero, right zero. I don't know what's tail one's way. Yeah. Um, oh, object use for images. Oh, OK. Gotcha. Uh, that probably explains why there were images in there. Uh, do you know what a positioned element is? Because I don't know what that is. Hang on, where's the... It has a display down here. It's not letting me go down there. Come here. So if I just do right zero, what is that going to do? And again, I like this is. We'll find out. Nada. Do we need a P again? Does that matter? Oops. Nope. What if we make it a div? It's no work. I just want to make sure. Let me just do something here real quick. Just to make sure it really is updating. It's updating. OK. Do anything unless it's position absolute and parent has to be positioned relatively. It's, uh, from he wait, hang on. Align items. Nope. Line content. Nope. Oh, place. Nope. Justify. That's going to be tech stuff. Flex. I've heard of flex boxes before. I think I did something with flex box. I don't know what it is. How does one do the absolute? Actually, I may have. Do I have? Uh, there's got to be a way to do it in Tailwind, right? Surely they didn't leave that out. Place content padding, space between min, mar, wax, typography, fonts, backgrounds, borders, 
effects, tables, transformations, transforms, interactivity. Start with the top again. Utility first, responsive, blah, 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 all cool stuff. I love it. Theme, spacing, inter pre flight, container. Okay, that's what we're using for its base size. Display, block inline. Oh, okay, hang on. This is bringing back memories. The uh, docs position. Oh, went to the wrong window. Hang on. Oh, so we do absolute. Oh. Bottom zero, right zero, maybe. What do we think? It would need to be an apparent, though, is what you're saying, right? So we're in a div. Well, it's in this div already. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this moves. So bottom zero, right zero. Find the page. Well, it went somewhere. Ah. <laughs> we got it to move. <laughs> oh, don't, hey, exercise. Fantastic. I need to walk more. So uh, the bike is, is, I salute you. Uh, I, I, I've tried that before. It is not for me, but good on you. Uh, I just need to walk. I had started going to the gym four weeks before all the COVID stuff happened. I was like, I got this. It's position relative to the body, right? Okay, so let's see if we can wrap that somehow. Position absolute, right zero, bottom zero. But this had, I think we're close. Static parent is here. Oh, so we need to add this static thing. Use static to position an element according to the normal flow of the document. Any offsets will be ignored and the element will not act as position reference for absolutely, huh? Relative. Ooh, here we go. This is what you're talking about. That looks suspiciously like what me would want. Boom. Perfect. Except I want it on the top. Got it. That's it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you feel better, right? Yeah, so it's, a good, it's like it's amazing what like I'm constantly amazed at how just a little extra, even just a little exercise makes you feel better, even though you really don't want to do it until you're doing it. And then later you're like, wow, I'm glad I did that. Like, that's such a cliche, but like for a reason. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope you're feeling better if you're not feeling up for it or up for things, whatever. Uh, and you did you have just right relative? Yep, you got it. Make the position relative. You said that to me three times while I was looking at it up. Sorry about that. Uh, give it some more space. Yeah. Oh, and this is just, like, this is totally just for me. But yeah, that's a good, like, that won't show up on, um, on the actual, like, output of the site. That's just my little edit mark. Perfect. But I do like that spacing better. Now, what happens? I'm actually curious. So, if the title. Which, where do we get to the title of that page? Do, 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 do. I wish I could open those files right now because it would be nicer to do it that way. Here it is. Uh, cool. So. 
I'm not worried about it, but what happened? Yeah, okay, so it overwrites it a little bit, but I don't care. Um, like if I really wanted to, if I was gonna present it, I wouldn't, I'd have to work more on that or whatever, but like, that's fine. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That does not sound like a pleasant, I mean, if you didn't notice it at the time, okay, but like that doesn't sound like it's going to be pleasant in general uh, on the on the belly. Okay, so that's cool. That's got that. <laughs> There's still no homepage at Link. I love it. Um, let's actually add that to the mix. I've got too many windows. Too many windows. So this is this, right? It's also on. Those things, like there's no link to the homepage. Like, yeah, there's no link. Back to the home page. That's on purpose. Just to see how it goes. I'll put the. Do I have the ASCII art? Uh. Yeah, there we go. This one. Any other good ones in there that I want to use right now? No. Okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> I keep trying to go back to it. It's not there. Uh, here, refresh. There we go. Welcome to my digital garden. And welcome to my digital garden. Huzzah. You're seeing it in its IT apostrophe S? No. It's earliest stages. It's like a nursery. like a nursery. It's new, stuff is broken. But it's alive. But it's living. But it's alive? Yeah, because there's multiple things, right? But it's a living place. There we go, how about that? I'll be fine. Oh, so you also want to do paragraph tags. They're a little bit different, right? I want some spacing in between paragraph tags. Uh, yeah, so, ba, 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 ba. where would we do that? I guess you'd have to do that on every paragraph tag, though? No, surely not. Oh, yeah, you would in this setup. But I could just maybe add a little bit packed in myself. Um... Where did we say that CSS file was? Tailwind huge. <laughs> it's 183,000 lines of code. All right. Um, uh, padding. bottom point for REM. I don't know what that means. And apparently, neither. oh, I think you got to you have to change something else somewhere, something else somewhere, whatever. Yeah, there it goes. It bumped. I I'm actually liking it. 
because I'm not worried about the fact that it's a four meg file. One of my next projects, pretty cool, because I, I, I actually, I'm a pretty big fan of site experience stuff. Like, um, I don't want to serve a four meg file that's not doing anything. So I'll have to figure out how to go through and run. Like they've got all this stuff, right? For like, uh, like you install it with npm, right? And then uh, I don't know. Somewhere on here, it tells you how to like use all the different things with it. I don't know where those went. Uh, it's a great, like they're they're this promotion site's great. Um, I mean, one of the things that it took me, I didn't realize for the longest time, is like these are code. Like you can copy and paste this. Actually, can you edit it? Surely not. No. Okay. I was like, that would be super impressive. No. Oh, it's kind of a bummer. Room as well as the browser font, usually 16 point. Okay, that sounds familiar. Good for a sponsor. Yeah, I knew, like, somewhere back there, I knew that it was, like, a good thing to do. Uh, but if you had put me under the microscope for a quiz, I would not have passed that question. So let's go, I don't know, point, and I'm just looking at it and eyeballing it, right? So point six, how about that? There we go, let's got a little more space. Uh, whoops, oh, it's still moving. That was weird. Point nine. Should probably just go one, but. I don't think that moved. But it's in, that, it's in that weird area where I can't actually tell. I guess that moved? I feel like that did move. But maybe I'm just hallucinating at this point. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, Now these... Because I don't want to have to do... I don't want to have to do... Um, In the so I write my stuff in Markdown, and it gets translated into HTML, right? So the, the files that I write in, in Hugo are this. Well, that's not a good example because it's just a list, right? But it gets translated into into HTML by the Hugo engine, but it's what puts the paragraph tags in there. I don't want to have to try and figure out how to make, how to add classes to all the paragraphs, so I need that to just happen out of the box. Um, and it, I think there's a way when you generate your own tailwind and you do that thing where you cut all the stuff down you can actually say okay for these tags do whatever i'm not doing that right now right i'm just using the raw file so this is i'm just gonna hack it together um but let's also see because the thing that we can though do without too much of a problem is the h tags so let's do padding bottom of one and see what that looks like over here I think that moved I'm gonna do it of like three no oh it's over here okay hmm see now I'm not see I go back and forth on the spacing stuff I think that's okay. It's tricky with the two lines versus the one. Okay, so let's do padding two to all these and see what happens. Padding, bottom, two. Yeah, see, that's better spacing. This one looks a little weird because it's a two line header with just the two lines of text. This one feels a little weird because it's the notes. Like neither one of these is really representative of what I think will be there most of the time, but it's okay because it's going to be different stuff kind of all over the place. Um... Do is just click around. I 
Oh, I know what I can do. Um, uh, some links. Some links. Stay on the site. Some go other places. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I kind of want to add one more padding. Uh, this this is where I'm going to go back and forth all the time on this stuff. Is that is that this one? until it moved. No, it did not. I don't know why that's there. How, where's the grid gap? Is it gap? There we go, two. Uh, see, I think maybe that's a little nicer. Welcome to my digital garden. This is where I wish I wasn't doing the giant font. <laughs> uh, how do you text wrap in here? This is going to look awful. Oh, wait, can you do... Is there like a K? KK is not a key combination. How do you bring up... There's a way to bring up the menu. I think you can search through. Let's go. View. Appearance. Nope. Editor. Ooh, all kinds of stuff. Output. Where do you find? P tab. Yeah. A command palette. Is this? We are A P. View toggle. Word wrap. Ah. It is under view somewhere. Oh, here it is. Control Z or whatever that character is Z. Thank you. I blew right past it. It's amazing how easy that is to do in general, but I swear it happens 10 times more when there's other somebody else watching you, not just on stream, but like if, you know, you're coding with somebody and you're like, oh, then you can click on the thing. And there's like five minutes later, they're like, it's right there. It happens to everybody, but it's right there. All right. Um, ooh, that's really hard to edit too. Um, oh, my digital garden. You're seeing this this It's like a nursery. It's like a nursery. New yeah. stuff is broken. But it's a living place. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. So again, some of the stuff is gonna be like actually doing the content, right? Um, Link to the site, some of the other gardens. Enjoy. Oh, that headphone is not doing what it's supposed to right now. Yeah, and see, this is this is probably about the size height that I want the cards to be most of the time. Oh, should I force them to be that size? That's an interesting question. I think I am going to want to do that. Yeah, I think I am going to want to do that. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, I don't think. Um, I 
Okay, yeah, yeah, so let me look. This daily chapters thing. All right, we're gonna try our trick again with making this relative because I wanna move this more link down into the right. Uh, so absolute. I'm just gonna close this right now. Class equals that. Oh wow, I gotta turn that word wrap off. That's I need to not do that when I'm not doing tech. Oh god. So big a font. It's so big a font. Uh do you like the look? Uh centered vertically. Um Oh. I hadn't thought about that. We'll look at that. I don't know the answer to that because I haven't looked at it yet. What's a good question? Uh, let me do this. Hey, looky there. I just sounded like my grandfather. Uh, I'll tweak this a little bit more. I want to go one more down. There we go. That's right. Yeah, so it's got some padding or margin, whatever, on it. I don't know which one. Um, oh, you know what I really want to do, though? This is fine for now. But what I really want to do is make this whole thing click, which I can just I can just wrap the whole thing, right? Is this legal? I actually don't know. I know you don't want to put an a tag in another A tag, but like this should work. There it goes. Okay, cool. Mm, yeah, yeah. I actually I was thinking about a color, but the underline is actually a really good idea because it's such a monochrome thing right now. Um, yeah, also more disappeared, probably because I just deleted it, but also wait, something different happened because this is no longer the same size as this when I wrapped it in an anchor tag. Uh, that's weird. So maybe we do this. And put another div in here. Because, yeah, because I want the. Yeah, so it's getting most of the content. But if I do another div in here, would that do the whole thing? I don't know the answer to that question. Um. Oh, A is line. Oh, if you make it a block. Oh, oh, okay. All right, let me back that out. Undo, 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 undo. Whoops. So if we do style or class. I don't know how to do that. Uh... Put our inline block. Is that what we're doing? Or just block? Negative. Take two. Didn't like that either. Uh, what else we got? I thought that had to go away now. Thank you. Block, inline, inline flex, table. Hidden contents. Just block. I think I just tried that. Yeah. Oh, 
so if the if it's the wrapper wait does it maybe mm, nope I was gonna say I don't know what I was gonna say I would have thought that would have worked too Oh, pulling it, pulling it down into here, you mean? And then I can get rid of this, I think, for a minute. Whoops. Something bad happened. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, okay, right. But it's still not get like, I want the, I need it to get this area, too. Um... How would you do that um i guess if, so if you put another i don't know if you put because if you put another div in there div a div okay yeah, yeah, yeah okay that's where i was headed uh where i was headed was where i lost my browser But then does this one know to go... How do we tell this one to go all the way down? Move the A back. Uh... You lost me. Moved it back. Oh, so we did... I think this is what we're looking for, right? Div, A, div, and then content. I just went... I think I just did it the inverse way or is that what you meant I'm not sure what you meant or wrap around a relative class then wrap a and a div okay so reverse these that autocomplete is not helpful right now Wah -wah. Still had it. It still hits it. It's just not. It's. Oh, wait. What if we just do this twice? <laughs> well. Uh, close. Hang on a second. Something died over here. Um, there's got to be a way. To, so I'm I'm about to not worry about it. Like it's it's gonna be close enough for I I can like mess around with that. Like there's a bunch of stuff to do. So I'm just gonna do for now this. Actually, I guess that's there. Can I form? No, how do you? F okay, now here's the question. How does, where do we find code formatting? I just want to like pre print all this stuff and I don't care what the format is. I just want it to do it. Um, view, appearance, nope. Probably edit, right? Edit. View, editor layout, no. Appearance, no. Run, terminal, window, edit. There's gotta be a way to like pretty print stuff, right? Oh, well, whatever. Close enough. Actually, I think that's pretty close. Uh, not really. Hang on. I do wanna, I need to fix this. I'm gonna, it's just gonna confuse me later. So you guys go back. Y'all come up. And you come up. Whoops. Ha! Ah. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, that's close enough for right now. 
Um, I'll figure out how to get, get the rest of that later. I'm sh there, ha there has to be a way to do it, right? Um, yeah, code formatter. Yeah, prettier. Uh, let's see, where do you get code extensions from again? Or extensions? Here. Oh, um, see if there's anything in here formatting. On save, format on type. I'm just, I'm just want to see what's in the thing. Cursor formatting. Extensions. Cool. HTML. I've got all kinds of stuff in here, apparently. Format, extra line, blah, blah, blah. Preserve new lines, unformatted. Format wrap attributes. And then head body sections. This HTML format. Where's this? It looks like I've already got it. Sidebar, second to last, click check on save. Left sidebar, second to last, timeline? This sidebar, second to last, probably there. Aha! Prettier. There's all kinds. I'll play with this later. That's a rabbit hole. I'm gonna I'll be in there for six days if I start messing around with extensions right now. Cause like I'll find something that I like and all of a sudden one won't work and then I'll go spend two more hours trying to figure out like the better way to do it or whatever. Uh that, and that's 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 not an angry thing. It's like a, that, that's I know myself. <laughs> I wanna I need to stay focused. Um, okay, so these are all hanging out. Um, this is set in the height. That's set in the height. So now the question is how I want to try and populate on the home page. I want to populate the rest of the stuff. And now we need to get back into pagination. Um, or I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Um, actually, let me save this while I got it. Uh, set up basic home page refined with the FIN. I don't, I can't spell it right now. Refine that looks wrong, it probably is. Um, with link on card slash tile. Uh, I don't want to call it tiles. Um, planter. I was thinking you could come up with like the silly name. Not silly, but like R-E-F-I-N-E-D. What did I do? R-E-F-I-N-E-D. Okay, I was close. I got all the right letters, just slightly wrong order. Um... All right, so now the question becomes, how do we do, so on the, so here's the list page. So how, all right, I wanna just copy this and throw this here, I don't care where, and just see what happens. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out how so because what I don't I, what I don't actually want to have happen is for the home page to just be this exact same order of pages. In fact, I want to exclude a bunch of these because like these oh the places I go are just copies of all the places I went during the day. And the stream notes, wherever those are, just stream notes. Like, it's mainly just the videos. I don't really want those on there. So how do you go exclude tag paginator? Apparently Google's broken. Hello? There we go. I want to exclude one category from the main list. How do I check for not in and if statements, but the answer doesn't work for me. Has, this has to be simple. This shows all posts, categories, and list HTML. This does not exclude the category blog. That still doesn't work, but I kept looking around and found that if not both critical works. Okay. So if this is Find main. Okay, cool. Paginator, paginate where site regular pages type equals post. And it wants five of them. Content range. Paginator pages. If not in category blog, render summary. Partial paginator.html. Okay. I was just going to try and get, so first things first. So like, I don't want browsing browser history and I don't want stream notes. I want everything else. So let me see. I'm not sure if I should do like a whitelist or a blacklist on this. Um, Let me just see if I can get miscellaneous to start with. Well, hmm. Paginate, where site regular pages type posts. You could probably do an or there. So I do, no, no, no. So I do want to do, okay, hang on. We've got our paginator going. Range paginate pages dot pages. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let that hang out there. First, let's make sure horizontal rules work here. Not really. Spacer, spacer. I just want to be able to see what I'm going to try to do in here instead of messing with all that stuff. So the question is, let's move this over here so we can get a closer look. How about there? There we go. Sweet. So paginator. I'm just going to paste this in and see what happens. I th so this is just assigning a variable with stuff that equals post. And I'm going to do miscellaneous. Also, those need to be regular quotes. Otherwise, it's going to freak out. And also, it took... Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it took away the quotes when I did that. Okay. Type 
Miscellaneous. Five. Does that still work? It broke all the rest of the stuff, but the spacers are still there, so we may be in okay shape. Dot content. Oh, here's our range. Okay. Paginator pages. I don't understand how this variable is affecting this. This shows all post categories and list .html. Yeah, this isn't being this isn't being used. So back this out for a minute. Paginate pages, pages. I don't understand this syntax, but it seems to work. So that's basically this. And then what they're saying, oh, my friend, how do you do? Range I, blah, 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 blah. Let's just look at the one that he's got. If not in pages, categories, blogs. And then you need an end for the if, right? If not in I think that's a double negative thing going on there. So now if I do browsing history, still there. So close, so close. Oh, wait, tags. Too good to be true. I'm just doing that to make sure I'm seeing a, an actual update happen. Oh, there's a space after it. Huh. Got it. Ha! Ah, turns out spaces matter. Okay, cool. So there's that. And then... If not in... And then I'm just, I'm going to cheat and do this twice, right? This, we're just hacking through this. Like there's definitely better ways to do this, but if this works, I am cool with it. And if we change this to live coding, there we go. So there's the stuff that's not But, 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 but not whatever's the thing is that I was trying to think of right there. Uh, browsing history or the life coding stuff. Ooh, there's not very many of those showing up. Why is that the case? If it works, it works. Big go. Step one, get it to work. Step two, refine it if you want to. Um, but like, I'm wary of temporary things. Like I want to make sure that I'm comfortable if I, if I do something that I think is temporary, that if it lasts forever, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with this, so. Because the number of things that I have that are temporary that have been running for 15 years is non-trivial. It's not a lot, but it's some. Okay, so that's cool. And then the... All right, so we've got this. Now the trick is I don't put descriptions on, so one of the things I'm gonna have to do is put descriptions on a bunch of this stuff. Cause I don't really do that for the most part. Um, it just hasn't been the old format of my blog when it was a blog and not a digital garden. Uh, that really wasn't a thing. 
So first up is let me see if I can make these show up. Because it, it, it would actually what I want to do is like randomize them and only do some of them. And then every time you hit the page, it'd be a little bit different. Um, oh, you could, I don't actually have to randomize them in. Yeah, I don't have to randomize them to Hugo. Oh, I don't have to randomize them to Hugo. I can just do that in JavaScript. Now is time to remember how to do JavaScript. Um, okay, how, okay, but I gotta watch out for JavaScript encoding because there'd be quotes in this. This is where I'm trying to juggle of like, how complicated do I want to make my next step? And how far I want the next step to be. In other words, like I, I want to get this thing going a little bit, but like, yeah, actually, let me, let me, let me just make it go. Let me, let me take the smallest step possible to make a step forward. Um, Cause like, I want to do this randomization thing and I want to do some other stuff with it, but like, let me just get, before I get there, let me get to the place where I can actually see the things up there. So that's step one. We're going to do that. That's a good idea. I like that idea. So we're here. And what's cool is we've got them hard coded. This one does not want to stay in my ear. It's fighting. Um, so one, those HRs don't work. We know that. I'll leave my spacers down there just for now. And I'm gonna leave that copy of that there for now. Oh, that didn't work at all, did it? Okay, that's gonna be fine for right now. Cool. So we're gonna get this here. And we're just gonna fire that in there to start with and see what happens. And we got it. That's pretty slick. That is actually starting to come to life in the way that I thought it might, which is awesome. Uh, Hugo, theme notes, pagination. No pagination on the home page, no pagination on the home page. Oh, sorry, I know what that is. Um, that was when I was reviewing themes. Site. Whoa, don't do that. We made a note that we didn't mean to make. Get out of there. Delete. Yes. Site. Pag okay, I didn't have it in there. So somewhere in here, hang on. Oh, it's in the config file. Uh, config Tamil, maybe? Was that it? There we go. You go paginate unlimited. Paginate default 10 can be overridden. Yeah, can we set it? Oh, if I set it to zero, what happens? Oh, it goes explode. That's what happens. Well, let's just do 2,000, because I think I've got 1,000 blog posts, so that should cover us. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, that's actually, I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be the first one. Uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I've got like, there's, I've got like a thousand blog posts. So that's, that, that'll cover it. Like, 
ideally, I would just be able to say do all of them. And then maybe there is actually, let's go see if there was actually a way to do that. Um, Page under pages. Little navigation, page number of pages. Additional info, yeah, okay, so you, you gotta give it a number, but like it doesn't mind 2000, so there we go. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, I'm excited, like, in case it wasn't obvious, I'm like giddy about this. Um, I have not enjoyed messing around with something like this in a long time. Um, it's awesome. Get all teary eyed, choked up. I would have some spray. Um, <sighs> all right, actually, let's see. So I think 2005, I think. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, so this, that date's just fried. Um, yeah, September 5th, September 25th, 2005. And that was just when I started a blog. Uh, the website has been going longer than that. Oh, I need to remake my first web page. Oh, that's one thing that I do want to do. Ah, uh, here's a cool thing, right? Because we can just mess with this. And who, like, I don't want to say who cares because I very much care about this, but like, who's concerned with it? I'm not concerned about this. And what's really cool is because it's all doing that grid stuff, I can just do this and this. Things to do. Uh, how about this? Let's call it possibilities. P-I-L-I-T-I-S. Possibilities? Ooh, I spelled it right. Um. Oh, I was putting dashes in, but the LIs weren't doing anything anyways. Uh, okay, I'll see how that goes. Um. Redo the all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy homepage. Um, and then make a JavaScript version of the of, so this is weird, of my, yeah, of my first computer program from the TI-99-4A, which if you're looking for relative time, that'll give you a hint. I was, eh, I was like eight or six. No, six, I don't know, whatever. Um, Oh, you do? <laughs> it's a curse. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, the so when I was in school, the like personal websites weren't really a thing yet. You could kind of get one, but not really. Um, uh, but I, 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 so I ended up with this domain when I was in school, um, and then I also uh, worked for the athletic department. And so I built the university athletic department website. So that's still sitting in the internet archive somewhere. It's cool. Cause I can like go back and check it out or whatever. Um, so that's, that's like my first real site, real site. Um, but the actually, let me see, I think, uh, and I'll show you, so I'll, sh I'll show you the note that I just made. Um, what is it? Web archive, uh, archive.org. A R C H I V E.org. There we go. Um, I'll show you the, th the thing that I just added to the possibilities list. Not to-do list, possibilities list. Um, uh, I don't know what is up. My ear is just like, go away, earphone. I don't know what's happening. Oh, there we go. Um, 
This is the first time it caught it. Yeah. So have you seen The Shining by any chance? Is the first question. If you have, this will start making sense. And if not, spoilers. So if you have seen it, you will under if, if, if you've seen it, you'll know exactly what's going on here. And if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know if the movie holds up. Um, yeah, 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 love the film. Okay, cool. So this page, and you can see it refreshing here. It was a PHP page, and every time it refreshed, like every I don't know, ten seconds or something. But every time it refreshed, it formatted a different version of all work and no play makes a dull boy. So it would be like sometimes it would be like this format. Sometimes it'd be kind of all over the place a little bit. I think I had a dozen in there. I don't remember. Um, but I want to recreate that because this is one. This is one of the first web pages I did that was public. Basically, um, let me see. Actually, if the twenty second, see if it had a different format. Yeah. So like sometimes it looked like that, right? It's just kind of all over the place. So I want the I want to redo that on the on the site. Um, and again, this is it's fun too because like I wasn't really sure how I've been thinking about that for a while, but I wasn't sure how I was gonna like fit it into the site because it's like what page do you put it on? And like is it a blog post or whatever? But now it's just like just throw it up somewhere, and especially with this like non-link structure, it'll just be out there, and like I'll be able to search for it if I want to really find it and show it to somebody or somebody can stumble across it. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm digging this stuff. I am digging this stuff. Um, oh, actually I can do this. Uh, here. Because we can. Example A A H ref equals blah de blah. Is that a close? Okay, yeah. And then let me go grab the other one real quick. Again, like who like just whatever. Absolutely just whatever. Whatever needs to come back to the eighteenth of July though. Hello. Refresh. Oh there it goes. I've broken the Internet Archive. With the power of all work and no play, it makes Jack a dull boy. What's going to be funny is I'm not going to be able to put this on YouTube now because I quoted that line three times and it's going to be like, copyright. Cool. Are you So are you cool with me bringing this up on stream? Because I'm going to do it if you don't care. And I have no idea if anybody else is watching right now, but it will be on YouTube for the, the rest of time. So three other people will stumble across it in the course of the universe. <laughs> cool. Oh, what's what's wrong with this? This is way more advanced than anything I ever did when I was in school. <laughs> That's cool. I like your design. Memory game about anime and programming that no one ever asked for. I love it. Play a game. Let's do it. <gasps> no way. What was your major? Whoa, that is... That's seriously tough to look at. Are they supposed to stay unflipped? Because, man, my eyes can't follow that. Oh, that was her. Wait, they're not flipping over. You're going to have to hack into the server and, and fix that. Oh, Safari's funky with it. I gotcha. Oh, the browser wars. Oh, Chrome's freaking on it. 
Oh, that was her again. I found her. I should do this in a more... Wait, there? No. Oh, crap. Here? There you go. I should do this in a more, you know, methodical way. Oh, I saw her a second ago. I saw her a second ago, too. Ah! There she is. Uh, here? Nope. But she was up here. Crap. I'm definitely just going to play this game now. <laughs> oh, she's right there. Look at that. Hiding right in plain sight. I think that's her. Uh huh. Nope. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, all right. Hey, so also, are you cool with this? I'm going to link to this from my site just as one of the random things. Uh, if you're, if you don't mind, because I think that's awesome. I think it's cool. Um, yeah, browser compatibility. Like if you're in school, like browser compatibility, like that's like even more way crazy stuff. Um, two years of cop side and dropped out. Okay. Right on. That's a pretty, so when I was in school, there were no web dev classes. Like the web was just becoming a thing. So like the only people who did it were people who just stumbled into it and kind of figured it out. That sounds kind of impressive, but it's not nearly as impressive as people think because the breadth of knowledge that you have to have to do a gig now is huge versus it was like go look at just like html1 you can pick up html1 and granted it was a lot harder because we didn't have all the resources stack overflow didn't exist but like when people who've been doing it for 20 years talk about oh i'm self-taught like a cool but read into that a little bit about like the when the things were what they were um yeah. Oh, first project. All right. We'll see the first project. Whoops. We're good again. So you're a fan of anime. I dig it. Yeah, yeah. Studio. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know what it is. Did they do Totoro? I can't remember. Oh, who, which one's this? Uh, oh. See, I saw some of them. I've only seen a few. Um, products. Nice. Spirited Away. Okay, there you go. Who did Princess Mononoke? Mono, Mononoke. I am bad with that. Yeah, Spirit Away. I really enjoyed that. Tweet. Contact us. <laughs> you got a phone number here. Is that phone number still live? <laughs> I, I do like that you have not a real email at notmail.com. That's a good... That's my favorite. This is cool. I like it. It's got a, it's got a nice throwback feel to it. I dig it. Uh oh, I lost you. Yeah, okay. Mine okay, yeah. Fake number. Alright, yeah, yeah, cool. Um Sweet, I like it. Here we go. Or I'm gonna link you up real quick. Uh because that's the other thing. So yeah, I'll show you one of the other things I'm planning to do. So I'm just looking for sources to throw into this thing. And so like I use Pinboard, whoops, that was not the right place. I use Pinboard to capture all my bookmarks. So like one of the first things I'm gonna do is I've got a people tag. And so like, I'm just gonna link up all these things as just random, because like, I don't know, I just love the idea of like it being kind of all over the place. It reminds me of the early days of the web and 
linking around. So it's not just like trying to drive traffic and eyeballs to my site, right? And trying to like generate ad revenue. This is just like making a thing and like making cool things and linking to cool things. I dig it. Can you tell I'm excited? Yeah, nice trust around the That's cool. Excellent. Uh, all, right, all right, all right, let's get you linked up. I, this is just, the shape of my ear must have changed. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Um, but yeah, so like I saw, so a bunch of these people, I don't know any of them. Somebody I follow on Twitter asked one of the kind of generic questions about like, Hey, do you have a website or do you on YouTube or whatever? And like 30 people responded. So I just clicked them all threw them in here with the idea that like, yeah, we'll just throw them around, see what happens. And it's also just raw material to play with. Uh... Uh, wait, do I want to do... Okay, so do that around the full thing. And then we're going to do... Sally Bags. Um... Awesome final project. Sally was with me on day one of the garden. Oh, I need to make this. OK, so I'm going to put this in here now. I'm going to move it into a post later so it gets in the mix. Um, oh, actually, no, no, no. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Ha ha ha. Hyun is Hugo New, and then we're going to do Sally Bag's final project. So this is going to make a new. Oh, it's not going to fire up for me, is it? Oh, it did, because that's a command line thing. I got it. So that's what's supposed to happen. Um, it opens this file, and then like if I clicked on one of these, it would open the same file for me. Um, so we're going to take that off draft. Let's go stay in miscellaneous. Sally, oh, here we go. Actually, this is what I need to do. Um, oh, now I need to figure this out. Because here's where I'm headed is sometimes I'm going to have description. Sometimes I'm not going to have a description. No, OK, this is fine. This is fine. This is this is perfect. Uh, Sally was with me on day one of the digital garden. Uh, chatting about our histories. Uh, showed me His excellent final F I N A L project. Oh, and now see now I need, now I need to figure out how to link this. See, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to make content categories for the stuff. I'm not ready to do that yet. So we're just gonna do um this. Right, so what should happen? Okay, so I need to, okay, one thing is I need to edit the spacing here. And I think I know a way to do that. 
I definitely, so this doesn't look like a link, so I need to make that look like a link. <laughs> I gotta get back to the homepage somehow. Oh, interesting. It didn't... Oh, that's because I half hard-coded it and half didn't. I gotcha. Um... Oh, yeah. That's a really good way to put it. That's a really good way to put it. And that's... Historically, like, that was the idea, right? It was a web, all these connections. Um, but yeah, never actually put into context making the website a web of... Like, yeah, that's really good. I like that. Sweet. Good on you. Cool. There's that. So this should go back to the right page if we find it. There we go. Um, oh, let me do this also real quick. Hang on. I want to make sure I've got this in my pin board stuff as well. <laughs> That's like hero level difficulty on like, you get that instant flash and it's like, okay, how good are you? Um, oh, whoops, people. Ah, this is actually helpful too. Um, because what I need is content examples for this because this has titles, descriptions, and then tags. So I'm going to rip these straight titles and descriptions, but I want to have, I don't have enough content yet that has descriptions in it yet because normally I don't do descriptions. Now we're going to start doing descriptions. So I'm actually just going to duplicate that for now when I remember where I put it. Here we go. Yeah, okay, see, this is cool. This this actually is even better. Oh, this may be how I do all my link outs. Because for a card, what I'm looking for is the title, the description, and then the link. And in this data format, I've got them, I've got those three things independently. So I I don't because in the in the this one, I had to put in the link independently. Um Oh, I guess you could you could make a link tag up here. To be played with, right? Sweet. Got it. Uh Uh you may have heard me mention this earlier. I'm listening to different mus music than you um cuz I listen to copyrighted stuff and I but I can't play it. Um so if it's crappy, let me know and I'll try and find better. Um, all right, all right, all right, where are we? Yeah. All right, so now let's get, ooh, possibilities. Yeah, look at this. Oh, okay, that didn't work at all. Um, why didn't that work at all? Let's go figure that out. Oh, probably because it's doing some weirdness over here. What was it, control Z or that Z? Example A. Example B. Now I have a hair in my eye. I'm all kinds of hot mess right now. It's fine. Okay, cool. It's like generic stuff. I Usually it's fine. I listen to it a fair amount. It's just every now and then I'm like, I want to not have to listen to that for the three hours. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Example. Whatever, example one and example two is probably a better way to do that too. And I really kind of want to reverse those, I think. Hang on. Where's this one gonna go? Yeah, I want that one to be the second one. <laughs> there. Up, 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 up. Oops. Don't do that.
like that. I think that's it. Example one, example two. Yeah, see, I need to figure out, I gotta do line item stuff right here, because it's not, um, it's not actually putting any marks in there for me. Right there, nope. That may have gotten it. Um, cool, we got that. All right, we're cool. Why is that H3? Oh, see, that's a really weird break. Actually, I'm not angry at that at all. That makes a lot of sense. I've never seen it done that way with the H3 and it does the part of the close tag, but actually throws it down. That's really slick. And I'm not gonna do it yet, but another thing I can do is like throw a stringing shot up there and say, hey, I really like the way that, uh, what's its thing does line breaks. That's pretty slick. All right, need to, so I need to get links looking like links. And this is gonna, uh, I know what's gonna happen is this is gonna get all funky up here. Um, uh, Tailwind set link color. Oh, this may be one of those. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Actually, Colors. Okay, so they got some colors for you. But when you do need to customize your palette, you can configure colors. Yeah, see, I think. Disabling default color, naming your colors. I used to love, and I think I probably still do, it's just been a long time since I've been to a hardware store, the, like the paint strip color things, like those things just... Yeah, um, I just want to see how, what's its thing here, Tailwind does it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is make like a, a hierarchical one, right? So, um... I'll say like if you're under uh, a div, and I'll probably actually name these divs like card or something when I actually output them. And then so I'll say like if you're a, a under a div, under a paragraph or under an li, because the thing I have to watch out for is if I just do a generic color. And actually, let's try it. I'm just gonna mess with it. Uh, actually, give me one more second. I want to see. Um, Oh, that's not going to help either. I want to get to, I need the word color. Colors, placeholder color, text color. But see, these are all, you have to put them in explicitly. Responsive, responsive. Oh, you can change color when the screen size changes. Huh. Hover colors, okay, cool. Focus. Text colors, variants, disabling. Background, gradient color, border, divide, ring, ring offset. Text color. Yeah, somehow. The theme is where you define your project's color palette. Yeah, see, this is expecting you to actually compile all this stuff. Um, provide a sensible default theme. I'm 
guessing somewhere in here there's going to be a anchor tag. It's a very long default one. But yeah, this is so this is stubs, tailwind, purge, whatever. Or I wonder if that's actually what I'm using. I don't know. Whatever. I'm I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I didn't find it. And we're going to just do it this way. Uh, where does CSS file go? Here it is. So A, and I'm just going to make it uh, blue for a minute. I just want to, this is just like a tone test to see if we got it. And see what happens. And I think we have to make a change on an HTML page to make it recompile. Oh, no, it exploded. It went boom, hardcore. Did the chapters, yeah, yeah, right. Well, this is what, what it looks like if you, uh, if you don't apply the style sheet. What am I doing? Is it text color? Text color. This is not pretty. Yeah, okay, so it turns the whole thing in. That's what I was afraid was gonna happen. Um, it is color. It was just loading. shall stand by we shall make a minor edit to the home page just to make sure it goes it is just color okay I think it may be just taken that long to compile there yeah okay that's what it was it took it a minute um Oh, here's also the thing where I need to make the decision about like what the height of these things is going to be. I kind of don't mind this, but I do want to, we will play with a, a max height in a minute or min height in a minute, whatever. Um, so things to do. One, why is that all H reft? Four meg. Again, like it's not, Tailwind isn't designed to work that way. I just don't know how to run the process that only gives you the parts that you need. So I just turned it on and turned all the filters off. And that's, that's 100% of it. Um, Hopefully it's rare that people need 100% of it. And if they do, I hope it's lazy loaded or done some other stuff, different ways to make it not that impactful. But um, yeah, it's it's not big. But again, right now, I don't care. Like right now, the big thing is just get this thing out and going. And like, I'm going to go until I quit tonight. But whenever I quit, I'm going to hit deploy. And it's going to be out there. So like, whatever progress I make, I make. W whatever state it's in, is the state it's in, right? It's like a Zen garden. Oh, I don't want to get into that. Um, oh, you used the NPM way? Yeah, right. I think I had to install it during NPM and then like I bounced through a couple other like Stack Overflow things. I didn't know what to expect, but I found the CSS file and I was just like, okay, got it. Uh, I'm going to just go with that. Uh, Okay, so for now, what I'm going to do, I want to play with this just a little bit, so I've got a little better idea. That's the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. We can close all those. Uh, this is an okay thing, but really what we want to see is a single HTML. Single title. Is this the right thing that I'm looking at? No, this is not the right thing I'm looking at. I want to look at on the index, paginate, browsing history, summary. Okay, we don't want summary. 
unless summary is a thing that we can control. Summary has to be a thing that we can control, right? Summary, hello, summary. So here's link title. All right, hang on a second. All right, let's just start cutting stuff away. Um, all right, we don't need the div. What does this look like on the page? Actually, how long is this gonna take to render? Or did it already do it? Okay, we don't need the date. And we don't need the edit. So here's our edit. Why is that an end of time? Ah, end of time. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. So that's that. Here's our time up here. Okay, so that got rid of that. We're gonna get rid of the publish date. That's just tags, we don't want tags. So what is all this? If equal, element ID zero. Oh, this is putting dashes in between them. Or yeah, it's putting a dash in front of it and then a comma in between them. That's what that's doing. Okay, gotcha, we don't need that. We can get rid of that, we can get rid of that. There we go. I'm okay keeping this draft thing going because um, that'll help me know drafts. Uh, I will need to set up another way to actually look for drafts once it starts getting like random random. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave the titles up there for right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know, but this isn't Ah, uh, see, now I'm thinking too, like it might be interesting to just have some rows that are just, that, that don't have descriptions. Because most of these don't have descriptions. All right, uh, where's our index page? I wanna go fix that. Possibilities. Oh, 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 I know part of what's going on. I need to get that going away because I was wrapping anchor tags inside anchor tags, which ain't really a thing. There we go. Okay, I fixed that and got those showing up. Okay, there we go. That's better. I really don't like the way that looks, but you know what? We're going to fix it. Example one, example two. We'll do two dashes, just because we don't have line items working yet. Uh. Most days, tree. Yeah, so this this turned that whole thing into a link. You know what? I'm actually, I'm okay with this. We're just gonna mess with the color right now, um, and this is where things go sideways for me. Let me see what their colors were, and let's see if I can find one that I like. Uh, See, designers can look at this stuff and like visualize it. I can't. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that config. We don't need it right now. Here's this. And now we wait for seven minutes while it compiles. Yeah, Home Depot, right, yeah. There used to be, and I'm sure there are a thousand of them, um, good color themes. That, none of that is helpful. Gorgeous color themes. Try it for free. Colorful balance. Ooh, see, I like this blue. Oh, you jerks. Uh, that is not high conscious enough. 0538 6B. O five thirty eight six B Color 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 R with a hashtag See <laughs> I don't want to go too ooh, okay. See like I kinda like that red, but it looks great on black. EDF5E1. EDF5E1. Also, I broke it. If I was smart, I just would have copied and pasted one and then, you know, pasted it back in. We'll do that next time. Why is that angry? It should be okay now, right? What am I doing wrong? Should be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll see what happens. Can't read it. I mean, you can't tell. It's just blue. All right, so I gotta, I gotta get a little braver on the color. How about this one? That's kind of nice. 97 C A E F. Oh wait, I should try this one. Does that work? Oh, look at that, it works. Ninety-seven. E A C F. C A E F. I don't know which one we're actually doing. Oh, nope, that is really hard to see. Negative Ghost Rider. I should really only do one of these at a time. That way I can kind of see what's going on. Uh, that's not awful. It's just not punchy enough. All right, in just a minute, I'm just going to go like red. Uh, actually, what I'm going to try and do, where's Photoshop? Photoshop is here. I thought. Uh, you. Let's try. We're gonna go in blues. What color are we gonna go with? Hmm. <sighs> All right, blue, that blue right there. And if this is even close, we're gonna call it and move forward. Color palette generator, yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do with, with these. All right, so it's not, yeah, this is fine. Like, that's actually a, almost traditional one. Um, Cause there's gonna be a lot more 
dark text down there, hopefully, at some point. Um, no, it's a little too much. <laughs> okay, we're close, though. Right there. This is going to be it. I can feel it. And by I can feel it, I mean we're going to do it, and then I'm going to go work on some other stuff. And then we'll play with that later. Can't even tell it changed. It's fine. No idea if it changed. Uh, but the more important thing is I want to look at this. So I want to get this work lined up a little bit too. Um, so how... <laughs> it's so much fun it's so much fun and like and not worrying about a thing is like it's awesome yeah oh you didn't really like this Hugo experience is that what you're saying I gotcha yeah um and it's it is what it is like I I don't I used Jekyll for a long time it was fine I had my problems with Jekyll like if I was gonna do it I would do it differently but like this, it's like the 80, 20 thing for me. Like this gets me most of the way there. And then it's just like, let's do it. Um, yeah. What didn't you, well, I'm curious. What didn't you like about the Hugo stuff? And like, I'm, this is not a sure. Cool. But I don't. All right. What, what didn't like, what bugs you like the file structure, which is what gets me most of the time. Um, all right, where, yeah, so let me do, too many files, yeah, yeah, um, I've heard a bunch about Gatsby, I don't know anything about it other than it exists, I think it's more of a JavaScripty one, um, but I am not sure, also, oh my, God, look, look at the length of this file now, with all this junk in it, that's awesome, sorry, I just got, I just saw that, um, too many files, too much switching back and forth. Yeah. Um, well, and so I also, I'm set up to stream right now. Like if I was really doing this right, it would be, you know, like this, the fonts will still be huge or whatever, but like picture my monitor set up like this. And then, uh, here, let's go. Let's find the homepage again, you know, whatever I would do this I'd hit save and then the, the contents there right so it's not you're not seeing like my actual dev experience because if I try to, to stream that and still make the fonts readable on smaller devices I wouldn't be able to do it right it's just it's it's a trade-off thing so it it goes much faster when I'm just coding and I've, I can actually set stuff up on the monitors um the but I, I think it's better like for it's better for the stream if I do it this way, even though it's less, you know, and like I tell you, I don't like coding with fonts this big, like, but it's it's not awful. Uh, it's just not my preferred way of doing it. Um, but for the stream, it makes it look way better for people who are using smaller, smaller devices. And that's I want to make sure that I'm making this as friendly as possible to as many people as possible. Um, Too much switching back forth. Yeah, yeah, and that's that that's exactly it, right? So I don't have to do that as much. Um I got pretty good at hotkey in there for a little while. Also, I should probably take out that ASDF. T yeah, see, I mean like it Hugo jump Hugo rendered all of that in however many, you know, a, what it, two thirds of a second, a second. So like, it's super fast. And when you're just sitting there going, like almost by the time, especially if I'm not do working on a homepage that has the entire site in it of a thousand pages. Like if I'm just working on the site as it used to be with only like, I think 50 pages on the homepage or less than that, I don't remember. Um, basically, as soon as you finish typing, you look over and it's like popping right then for you. Um, so it's I mean, like, it's super fast um, when it's, when you're set up um, and not streaming. 
Uh, oh, I can get the. I can actually actually it'll go a little faster because I can take the rest of that stuff out right now. Um, this is what we want to kill, right? Right here, and we kill our spacers. Pop that stuff back in. Uh, yeah, and like, cause the other thing is like, you see me bring it up. Like, I don't, I actually can't fit chat over here because of the way that I've got stuff set up. So I have to keep shuffling it. So every now and then, if I if I'm not talking to you for a minute, it's because I don't see the actual thing flash. It's it's way over on the side. Um, also, occasionally I'm heads down in it. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. so where is the next thing to do? So we got the homepage. Like, this is fine. Blue text. It's cool. I don't like it though. Um, I will change that before I go to bed to something I like better. Um, I had thought, I, I actually played around, you were talking about underlines earlier. I, I looked at just doing underlines with it and it wasn't quite there for me. Um, however, I didn't have enough, really enough, hang on, we're going to go back and look at that. It's going to break right here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. So let's do this. Uh oh, text. Please auto compete. I'm guessing. Well, it's funny. I actually only use one monitor. Um, and it's I can just barely get away with it, but I'm it. I got a high res monitor a while ago, and I just don't like the split of having it in the middle. I'd rather actually deal with this and occasionally throw stuff over to the laptop. But I'm like my Christmas present to myself is going to be one of the bigger, like the wider screen monitors. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm one of the crazy ones who doesn't actually use it. Um, ooh, you know we may just stick with this. Hmm. I don't have enough content on here to really to really get the feel for it yet. Yeah, I need more I need more content on here, but I'm going to I'm actually going to leave it like that right now. Yeah, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm 100% cool with that. And I don't have to pick a color. I can talk to a designer buddy and tell them to tell me to pick a color. But for now, we're good. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, okay, so we got this. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Uh, we're going to go look at it. What I want to do is solve for this. And the thing that I'm trying to figure out if I want to try and do is put in like what would be cool is to put in cards for as many fit as many cards in here as you would get to fill up the size over here. I don't know how to do that right now, so right now I'm just going to put a whole bunch of underneath. We'll deal with that other thing later. <laughs> Again, what's the easiest, like... I've got some visions of what I want to do with this thing. Some of them are kind of complicated. Some of them are very complicated. Eh, not very, whatever. It's not like AI or anything. Um, but right now I just want to keep making progress and, like, visible progress. Because every time I make a little progress, I see things, and sometimes that changes the way that I'm thinking about it, right? So let's find... Oh, I do want to do one other thing before I do that, which is on our magical homepage, I want to make these bold. So it's rendering summary. So we go into summary. Here's our summary. If draft class is true. Okay, I actually don't need to have that right there. 
This is all class stuff, so we don't need that. Oh. I do want that. I lied. Uh, I want to make those red. This this is the internal stuff for me to be able to see what where the drafts are. Uh, colors dot amber. How do you do it? Color. I'll just do colors dot amber and see what happens. If equals draft is true. We don't need the else. We can just do the end. That did not change color. I don't think I did that right. Colors. No, text color. Show me text color. Text color. There you go. Red 7, 600. Text red. There you go. Let's try this. See if this doesn't make it show up a little bit. There you go. There's my drafts. Okay, so that's that's what I'm looking for from my view to know which ones I actually need to go right. And there's a bunch of them. Um, they're not as many as there was when I had all the stream stuff up there. I need to look at that. Uh Okay, cool, so that's good. And now we need to make it bold. Text. Color, opacity. Wait. Font bold. See, I really do like the names behind this. So let's do that there, and let's put a space there, and let's see if that doesn't get us bold. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Oh, the drafts aren't bold, but I don't care. Why aren't the drafts bold? They should have just turned it red. I don't get that. Uh, oh, 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 because this, that minus is taking away that space. That's what it was. Try now. There you go. <clears throat> it took me, it took me probably an hour to kind of find, it, it's not, it's not that it was difficult to understand. It's just that there was a bunch of it and you had to learn the conventions of it. But once I got my head around the conventions, which aren't that hard, like, actually here. This is a thing that I'm doing now, right? So to do, uh, where's my to-do list? Or my possibilities list. Um, to-do is like authoritative, like you gotta do this. And this is like, ah, here's some crap I might mess around with. Uh, make a quick tailwind starter cheat sheet. Yeah, cool. Yeah, see, by the time I got there, it was already there, right? And that's after rendering all this junk. Um, so it's pretty fast. Like, it's like that's kind of its claim to fame is the the speed that it renders. Um, yeah, okay, I don't... Right now, I don't want to keep... This is... I'm actually glad that I'm seeing this. I don't want to actually enforce, like, a size because I'm, like, I'm looking at these right here and like, if this was a whole row of nothing but those without that size, not, not visually appealing. <laughs> we have come a fair way, right? I hadn't really thought about that, but that is true. Um, yeah, I'm digging this. So cool. Uh. It's fun too, because I. So the other thing that's fun for me is I haven't I haven't seen any of these posts in forever, because the only thing I ever look at is the posts that I'm working on, and then like the front page when I go make sure that it looks that it shows up. I never really jump into any of the rest of these things. So it's like, no books here, Chamber of Book Blind. Like I haven't seen that photograph in years. 
It's funny, I can't even tell you when it was taken. Also, I need to give a higher res version of it because this is definitely freaking it out. Um, that's awesome. I hadn't seen that in forever. So they take up the content space. I wonder how it would look if the cards were all inline block, so they only take up the content. Oh, 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 oh. That is interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, show me this, right? We would just do that with block inline? Is that what it was? Inline block? E-L-O-C-K. That may not be it. No, that wasn't it. Uh, who remembers where it was? Because I do not. Nah, we're going to look at it. There's no OL here. I mean, sure, there's a lot of OL here, but like, this is one I want to see. That's a good idea. That may be a good idea. It may not be a good idea. It's an idea that is worth examining. Let's let's put it that way. Borders. What's an under? Sizing. Padding. Justify. Grid. Grow shrink. Wait. Box sizing. Display. Inline block. Am I in the right place? Yeah, that's a summary. Inline block. That was it. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What does this do? I don't know what this... I legitimately don't know what this does. Nothing different. Oh, you know what we could do? Hang on. We got a solution for this. No, 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 I, I, here, check this out. We, we actually saw this earlier. Is, if we just wrap this in an A, it's gonna underline everything, but they're all basically underlined anyways. For whatever reason, this flipped it. Whoops. That is not what I was expecting. No idea why that happened. Because it worked, because it did it on this one, right? Here, hang on. Oh, was that one there that whole time? Is that what happened? What was that one? How was that? No, okay, it was just freaky. Because we had, because we saw it on this one. No, this one. When we flipped this out, it scrunched. Okay, now it's all behaving differently. Now it's down here. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, sorry, it put in its own. I don't like when I paste and it already completes. See, that's, yeah, that's what we gotta try and figure out how to do, right? Because what would that look like down here? I, My guess is no, but I wanna at least look at it. So there's this one. Oh, what's going on? Here, I need to get back to where I can see it again. So this is going over the range of the pages. So why? Didn't that work? Oh, because we've got this relative. What's the difference? No, that's in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, it's the same thing. I don't understand that at all. Oops, come here. Hey, oh, there's, there's, um, there's links inside. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Uh, we can take care of that really quickly. Oops. Actually, let me do that there. Wait, was that on the inside or the outside of that? Inside. Okay, cool. Here, this will fix it. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, draft true, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I thought this was going to be simple, but I've made it very complicated. it somewhere a href font bold title okay yeah we're definitely all over the place here no stop it there we go what does this look like Ooh, yep nope <laughs> that is hard to look at i'm not gonna lie i i like the experiment i really like the experiment yeah this isn't it's not as bad when you have like enough space to kind of provide some space. But yeah, it needs I think it needs I think it needs its its space there a little bit. Um or the the elbow room basically. Should be good then. It should just do columns. I'm a little lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's cool. Like, I like, I'm all about checking stuff like that. I, I try. It's so easy for me to make a decision about a thing before I've tried it. Uh oh, we broke it again. If draft true draft title a href. Oh, because the rest of the, we need to take out the rest of those things, right? That's what's going on. Aha. Hopefully, I should have maybe committed some of this at some point. There we go. Um, I will make that note to myself now and actually commit it here as soon as I put this back in place. Uh, yeah, so here's one here's one that I think I don't like about Visual Studio Code. If I paste this right here, it adds its own anchor tag. Don't do that if I'm cutting and pasting. Like that's not that's not a thing, especially if there's actually already an anchor tag if you do the math down here. That that's that's an area for improvement right there. Yeah, I just got. I, I just ripped the A tag out, so I think we should be set. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. I don't know if I like the underline with the dark header though. I just something just updated. I don't know what it was. Can you change the color of the underline? Ratio. Text decoration color. Aha. This has interest to me. Uh oh, come here. 
I have no idea what color that actually is. I didn't look at it. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. I lost my sight. It's not a good color, but I like where it's headed. I'm really liking that, actually, is what's happening right now. I just gotta find the color. Today's color choice is going to be... this green. <laughs> and I really do want to go move on to do that other thing. And th this is the fun thing, right? Like, I just... I've got... There's no problem with me just messing around with stuff at this point. Green. Green. There we go. I don't like it, but it's good enough for now. I need to actually walk away from it and see if I like it or not. It it is way more on the voodoo magic for me than than not. What if I got a different earpiece for this thing? Stay. Um, like maybe it's just pulling weird. I don't know what's going on. Red and green. Ha! <laughs> hey, it's Christmas. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> and amusingly, I will be the only one that sees it because those those colors don't go out, um, or the red doesn't go out. Uh, okay, cool. So now, 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 for real this time. Uh, also, for real this time, I'm going to commit this. Uh, add all. Add style to links. I actually don't remember what I did in this session. That's cool. Whoops. I did not know that happened. Uh, sweet. All right. So question becomes, I'm going to close that for now because it's giant. Title index single. Okay. So we're here. Single title, gotcha. Single content, gotcha. Oh, I wish it had code. Oh, it does. I was like, why didn't it have code folding? Code folding. So there's one. Here's two. So this is where we're going to do our things. And the question is, the first question is, if we just copy and paste all this jazz, does it work? I kind of don't think it does because it's at a different level. That broke fast. See, that's a pretty good indication of how quick the rendering happens on this thing. So like, I paste this, I hit save, it explodes. I hit undo, I hit save, is back. Like, it's pretty quick. I keep harping that, I know, I'll, I'll stop. Um, oh, that's a bummer though, that would've been awesome if that just worked. So paginate, Okay, um, you go paginate on page. Pagination. How to build custom Hugo pagination. Hugo pagination. I'm just gonna open a bunch of these. Oh, they're running in the middle. Kind of wish they were on the side. So this is paginate, pagination. Yeah, 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 yeah. Range, paginate, first 50 pages. There are two ways to configure and use paginator. Simplest way is just to call that from a template. It will contain the pages for that page. Aha, uh -huh. see? Select another set of pages with available template functions and ordering options 
and pass the slice to paginate. For example, range, paginate, first 50 pages by title, dot pages. Regular pages recursive. It's weird though that that. Oh, it's this thing that changes. The dot pages is what's changing. Okay, okay. Let's get a break because I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think you just add an end to it. Is that what it's looking for? An end? And then let me move this over here so they're next to each other. Hmm, actually, well, if it works. Is it alive? It's not alive. But is it alive if we cut this stuff out? No. Failed template single execute main at paginate first 50 page by titles. Error calling pages. Failed to render pages. Render of page failed. Paginate first 50. Dot pages by title, by title. Where do I hear thing go? What about this? Let's just grab this whole thing. Okay, so this is a documentation thing. I don't know if that dot is important or not. I don't think it is. I think that's the end of a sentence maybe or something. Still broke. Crap. Paginate dot regular pages. So wait, 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 hang on. Is it dot site? That didn't work. Ah, uh, there's a way to do this. I know there's a way to do this. For a given page, it's one of the above options. Paginator. If you call paginator to paginate multiple times on the same page, you said remember that the function arguments are equally. The global page size setting paginate can be overwritten. Okay. Build navigation, paginate. How create patching number four is used. Yeah, see, this is what that other person wasn't doing. Where dot pages. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to see if we can get this going. Paginate. So that shouldn't. It's going to break right now because we just have an end in there that it's not going to like. Yes. Okay. I'm starting to understand what's happening here. And now we're just going to roll over pages, but I don't think that's going to work either. Yeah, it's running in the same error. Somehow we have to get above the page level. Um, Hugo site paginator. Build custom. I think we just ran into this. Pagination the easy way. If you're looking for basic pagination, default templates. We're data.pages. Aha, look at this. What's this going to do? Nope. Worth shot. Make sure the space isn't what's killing it. I really should have this in a different window. That's okay. Pages, pages. Yeah, and that's what I had, right? Pages, pages. Yep.
Well, that's be fine, but I'll put culture mark out and how I handle pick. Access pages. Okay. Adding posts. Setting things. Data pages. What if we did site.data page? I think site is a thing. Nope. Where site data pages? There's a way to get to it. Um, actually, hang on. Hugo pages. Nope. Variable scope. Where is? You go, oh, this isn't gonna work. Um, site, because site is in all the Hugo things. Change layout, config notes, render, shortcodes, theme notes. Uh, I, I had some notes somewhere, but I don't, uh, I didn't keep them. Bad on me, I've, I've been down this path before, at least close to it anyways. List of content in Hugo. Here we go. What's the list page? Taxonomy terms pages. Uh, how do we do... Show me pagination. Dot pages. Ah, see? Range.pages. What does that do if we just do straight that? Oh, still don't like the paginator thing. Okay, get out of there. Uh oh. We got a thing. Range pages. Permalink, range through content posts, start at MD. Uh, let's just put a dash and see what happens. Nothing. Ah, it didn't hit anything. Ah, too good to be true. List without, example list templates, range pages, range. We gotta get to Hugo site variable. Site variables, uh, variables in Hugo, page variables. I don't want the page variables, I want the site variable. I'm not going to bed till I solve this. Dot site param, site dot pages. The site dot pages variable. A regular page is a post. Page or constant page, leave a bundle regular page. A list page can use regular pages and other list pages. Some examples are that site pages. Collection of all pages on the site. Regular blah 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 blah. Site regular pages. Oh wait, did we try this? There it is. Uh now we just need to actually have it do the thing. <laughs> like it's it's just one of those things, right? 
theoretically I could go to bed. There is a there is a breaking point. I'm willing to say that for things that I'm relatively confident that I can solve soonish. I'm not going to say that like, eh, I'm going to rebuild the web, you know. Not that I haven't done that before, like a lot. But I try to get better about that. But this one, I was like, I, I feel it. I can feel this one. I'm close. And in that case, I think I actually kind of was. We'll find out if this actually works or if I just completely jinx myself. Um, so the question is, what happens if we do this? Please work. Oh, there we go. Sweet. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, and now I should be able to do the same this. And then I should be able to do the same this, right? There we go. All right, now now is when things get interesting. All right, we're gonna, so that's that's it. I mean, this is that's the that's the bounce of the pages, right? I want to I want to have I want to be able to fill them in here. That's another like that's another thing. Um, I expect that will happen at some point. That's cool. Whatever. Um, but like this, this is it. The next bit will be, well, so like, A, I need to do some cleanup in terms of like, I want the font size to look better. I don't want to go over there, etc. But the thing that I want to do before that, and I think I'm actually going to take a run at, did I commit this yet? I don't think I did. I don't know what that is. I hit the wrong thing. I'm getting, I can tell I'm getting a little punchy. Um, get and dot. Uh, add cards to secondary pages. All right. Uh, Well, actually, so the first thing is, I'm going to deploy this right now. HD, you could deploy. Go forth, digital garden website, and be done with the amazing thing that is the amazement. Also, I don't know why this, it's taking so long because you're watching it. Like, normally this goes pretty quick on the build. Um, I don't know why it's taking that long. Oh, partially because it's rebuilding 1,126 files. That would be why. So, yeah, took 25 seconds. Okay. And now we're pushing a whole bunch of stuff up to get. So this is doing a git commit for me. I just auto commit whenever I deploy. Um, just because it saves, so it saves the static files for me, basically. It, whatever. And now we're pushing a whole bunch of files up on my not super fast connection. Oh wow! Yep. I may disappear <laughs> because this is eating bandwidth that I don't have to spare. So, okay. Here, let's go to the home page. I don't think I'm going to affect... Yeah, this is just transferring up. That's fine. Um, all right, so now we're going to try the other thing. Script. Script. 
we're supposed to do type equals text JavaScript, right? Was that yep because I disappeared or because everything went funky there? I don't know what that yep was. I got distracted. Um, so pages equals an array. Everybody's gonna make fun of my JavaScript now. Cause I think you're supposed to use like constants now and like vars and all the stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know if you do, like, you used to, and then, like, you didn't, and I don't know. I don't think it hurts anything. Um, what's the... Uh oh What was that? That looked bad. You would fail home. What? Uh-oh. I mean, I just completely broke my site. <laughs> Oops. Uh, was that because this is here? What's going on? It worked a second ago. Oh, yeah, okay. So something I'm doing there, it doesn't like. Can you not put that in twice? Is that what's going on? Huh. Failed to render, render of home failed. If branches and if in context, okay, well, we won't do that twice. No problem. We will cut it and paste it somewhere else because I don't want to lose that. Now we're going to work. No. Failed to run it. What? It was just right here. Oh, maybe because it's in the script? Weird. Oh, I know what's going on. It's, yeah, so, yes, that is exactly what's going on. When it's inside script tags, Hugo doesn't treat these as it's markers or whatever type. Um, there's a way around that. Uh, you go escape. Yes, C A P E. Yes. Oh, I don't have that. Somewhere down here, I had Hugo syntax. There we go. Hugo inside JavaScript. JavaScript building. This is what I want. Oh, actually, one thing I want to do too, real quick, is Hugo paginate G I N A T E in pages inside a single page. Use this because I don't want to have to look this up again. Summary JavaScript regular pages. That's what we're looking for. Um, bum, 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 bum. and then hello, I have JavaScript. Looking at Hugo's cut. Wait, what is this? I have a JavaScript file which has a variable to hold a URL. I'll this variable feel different on local server. But when I listen to JavaScript file in the same file, Hugo doesn't. Yep, is it possible to use Hugo templates and JS files? 
to use custom output. I don't think this is what I need. So I call the partial. You can fence your code blocks. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Short code HTML. So I need to make a shortcut out of this? Hmm, I don't know if this is a tonight thing. First thing I want to do is I should check and see if my site deployed. Not yet. Uh oh. Oh, it's still going. Yeah. Oh, I'm still chewing bandwidth. Look at that. Yeah. I don't have a lot of upstream, and then I'm streaming and I'm pushing this stuff up. So am I getting jittery? Am I like breaking up or is it still kind of okay on the stream? Uh, this can't be right. Three gigs? Something's wrong. Oh, I've got a bunch of image files all over the place that are in there. Yeah. Stream is good? Okay, sweet. All right, let me see if I can solve this. Um, Because that's going to take a minute. We're going to actually open a new window. Hugo JavaScript Hugo code inside JavaScript tag script tag. We've got when script tag who automatically adds quotes around the tag. For example, script would result in oh, that's well in the use case. I want to make sure that the intended behavior. Wait, what? you see is security related so the security model of go templates is sound that could be able to work with not only applies the template amp output for us other just paint text in case you want to kind of remember script tag what one try Hugo would automatically add quotes around both and result in this I'm not getting it to do that at all though uh, I know I've had to deal with this before. I know I've had to deal with this before. It was in a different spot. Hugo JS. If you use this in a short code, it'll produce this in Scott script tag. Without safe JS. It would screw up and give you this. Okay, so I think you gotta do it inside shortcode. Which that can be fine, actually. I just gotta remember how to do shortcodes. Shortcodes are just like the little includes that um, Hugo has. That I don't remember how to do. Shortcodes are for making little text because it's running into HTML. There you go. Create a folder. Layouts, shortcodes, which I think we've already got. Oh god, where are we? Gotta close that content. There's a lot of it. Layouts, shortcodes. Here we go. Image. Sorry, image. Ooh. Getting punchy. Um JS card. Randomizer.html. H1, H2, H1, hello world. Hello, shortcode. code. 
So on the index page, uh, here, let's put it, call it with, and put a file in it like layouts, short codes, widget, HTML. Where'd it go? Syntax, short codes. I think you just do widget. All right, let's see if this works. So first thing we're gonna try it up here. Okay. Uh, here, here. Oh, error widget. Oh, come on. Oops, that was the wrong place to do it. No, I got like I know that I know how to do this. You go use see this is where I didn't do a good job I'm of taking notes. Because I should have been able to immediately hit notes right there that told me how to do this. Here are two examples of short codes. Two different approaches. Oh, it needs a needs a slash. Here, uh, whatever. Just do it this way. Slash in front of it. Okay, gotcha. So let's try this. Crap, crap, crap. Wait, hang on. Uh, where's my Hugo Surf? I just want to start it. I think sometimes when you mess with those short codes, it doesn't always pick them up, if I remember right. I hope that's what's going on. Where's the other short codes? YouTube HTML. Yeah, you just call that with YouTube. And you just call that with IMG. Autoplay. YouTube, JS randomize. Oh, well, I'm calling the wrong thing. JS card randomizer. I named that poorly. Can I copy that? Copy relative path. Let's give this a better shot of working by calling the right thing. Please work. Uh oh. Oh, busted. Busted. Hello world. Hello short code, whatever. I didn't take good notes on the shortcut. Oh, so I, I take it back. It is taking a long time to build right now because it's doing the first run where it's building everything again. Um, and that does take a little time. And especially if it crashes. Themes, layouts, index, HTML. Okay. So let me do this just to see if I can get us working again. Because I think, whoops, 
I think once this fires up once, it won't crash all the way out. It'll stay alive. But if it can't fire up the first time, um, and so that's getting us some delay. Maybe I'll try the other syntax with it. Here are two examples of pair shortcuts. Yeah. Here, we'll try this one. Shortcuts without markdown. Nested shortcuts. Figure. Because I think what we can do, maybe. Yeah, this should just work. I don't know why it's not. Oh, I wonder if it's that other syntax that was messing with us. Let's okay. First, we're live. Okay, that's good. Oh, don't do that yet. R A N D O M I Z E R. I think the syntax is to do this. Please work. Oh, come on. Hang on, what does it look like if you do YT, YouTube? That didn't work at all. YT. Why did it have to get hard? It wasn't hard earlier, now it's hard. So like here, is this gonna work? No, short cards aren't working. Is it just, all right, now I don't know what's going on. What is happening? Will it not let it go because it's outside a div? No, okay, that's literally from their example. What if we do it down here? Nope. Okay, I don't know what's going on. These work. Like, I know these work. What am I missing? Shortcut symbol snippet. Additional cleaner markdown. Everything like new. You get shortcuts for if you burn templates. Search in the place. In your content files, a short code. Oh, so maybe it has to be a content file and not the list file. Hugo short code list. Hugo short code list file. The word list is not on that page. <sighs> Cypress, disable, HTML, linker. Nope. <sighs> There's a way to do this. There has to be a way to do this. Just an IHD. I'm not sure I didn't try about that. These back ticks. Oh, the answer on this page. Maybe a snap out. Hey, look, there's me. Ah, oh, that's always awesome.
Oh, it's to move it to one line. Oh, I remember this. I knew, see, I knew I had something to do with this. Um, Let's see if this explodes. That works. But if we add a new line, it's working again. What the hell? I don't understand. Wow, I do not understand that. Oh, it may not be doing anything. What is this going to do? Console log. Console log log. This could be interesting. So they all are. Okay. Whatever. I'm in. It's working. Not questioning it. Um constant. Pages equals an array in the range. How do you add to an array? Yeah, magic. So the, the crazy thing is I have the capability now of going, because like part of me is like, I did the exact same thing, but like I can actually go back and watch the stream and I will immediately see the thing that I did wrong. Like I pasted outside a tag or I did like whatever it is. Which actually might be an interesting thing to go troubleshoot and, and actually see what it was that that I didn't do the same way, because it sure feels like I did the same the same things the same way. Um, JavaScript append array. I don't remember how to do this. Uh, it's just dot append, or you just like put it in the brackets. Push. Okay. So. We don't want to render a summary. We want to render. What was in the what was in the console? Hang on, let's figure this out. So can I capture that? Pages dot push. that so now we got them all right so the other thing i'm going to do i'm going to again take this out of here i'm just throwing it over on another page so now all of our pages should disappear or all of our things should disappear right down to there okay perfect so now Uh, document dot write. I know this is absolutely not the best way to do this. Div, and you get all this junk. I know this is all blocking and like all that jazz. I I get it. <laughs> this is just the only way that I know how to do it. Uh, at the moment. So that's where we're going to get to. Like, I'll, I'll learn how to do it better later. Um, but for now, we're just going to see if we can make this run. And just right now, I'm just going to throw this in here. Document, write, go. Go. All right. Possibilities. Oh, 
and it's possibilities. That's awesome. Now, here's the question, is if we do pages five, and we're in. All right, so now I just get to figure out how, like, what the randomization I want to do is, like, how many, how what's. Um, so constant pages, that's the load. Here's the output. So, uh, how do we do JavaScript for loops again? For i n, you do var page num equals zero. No, there's a there's a how do you do it? I think I've got it in my notes. JS for loop. Array looping. Oh, array looping. That's what we want to do. Yeah, this is it. I don't know if that's still the best way to do it, but it'll work. Okay, so how do I want to do the randomization? Um, I'm going to do simple randomization right now, right? JS random number. Okay. Script function. And again, this is ugly. This is ugly. Random int from interval. So we want to go from... So now what we want to do is do a for loop for 20 times, or a while loop, I guess, right? Um, does JavaScript have range? Reducing code for const x of a's range. I don't want that necessarily. This is not what I'm looking for. That's a lot of complicated stuff. For numbers, you can use okay. Yep. Nope. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Um, and I know that there's some flaws here with what I'm about to do. Um, because it's possible that this that I could hit, hit the same random number twice. Um, but I'm okay with that right now. Like I can deal with that later. This is just get some code out the door. Um, and I'm also just doing this for LA equals, how many do we want to put on the page? If I've got a thousand, Let's do 80. Uh, then we're going to get random num is function of one. We need this down here. Oh, did I lose my rights? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, 80 length going random from one to length of pages. That's what we do length there, right? No, no friends. So is that inclusive? So if that's zeroed, if it's zero indexed, this should still be okay. Yeah, yeah, it's still gonna be calling. So it's calling the same thing. So, um, so for one to eighty, we get that, and then we do. I really don't believe I deleted all the other crap, but I guess I did. Um, here, let's put this up here. Uh, 
for one, let's just do this. Document dot write here. Let's just see if we're compiling at this point because we made a bunch of changes. There's a whole bunch of here's that is satisfying. I don't need this writing. So then let's just rebuild this. Uh, console to write, da 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 da. Get our div. And then here is where we pull page it loops, pages from random number. <laughs> oh, that is satisfying. Refresh, and they're all different. I am so happy right now. That is awesome. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I'm gonna commit that real quick. Oh, wow, that's still moving. I am gonna sleep so soundly. What's gonna be funny though, is I'm gonna have all the other ideas for all the stuff that I wanna do bouncing around. So I'm gonna pass out hard. And then I'm gonna kinda, and then like in three in the morning, I'm gonna be like, ooh, wait, what if I did this? Yeah, man, I'm super psyched that you were around to like hang out with us. This is fantastic. I appreciate you hanging out too. It's been around for a while. I don't know how long this has been going for a while. Right on. Are you still on the exercise bike? Because that would be super impressive and kind of terrifying. Um, I, I hope for your sake that if you are, you've already called the ambulance because I'm not sure that would be healthy. 17 hours later. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> Good. Um, all right, let me find a terminal that I can commit this with. Uh, yeah, it's just moving up. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Um, where is this? Dev. No, it's in woodshed. Uh, site prod. Get add dot. Get commit message. Um, what is my? I'm really losing it. Um, set up random cards on homepage. Eight exercise with my task. I feel like I went through whole training with you. I, seriously, <laughs> I. I think I think that is 100% valid, um, 100%, and really psyched to have you with it. That's cool. Um, that made it a lot more fun having somebody out there. So I appreciate that tremendously. Um, that wouldn't have been nearly. It wouldn't. Ha it wouldn't have nearly the same energy. Um, the uh, so yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, and oh, you're getting ready for your advocate monthly hearings. Oh God, <laughs> I'm not doing that tonight. I did, uh, I did day three, uh, for, it took me a few hours to get around to it. Cause I'm trying to do, I was trying to do all that test stuff again, which is good exercise, but it's kind of like, I have to keep fighting that thing of like, okay, I just want to be done now. Um, but it was, it was fun. I, but it, I can definitely kind of feel the ramping up of them getting harder, uh, coming down the pipe. Um, so we'll see how that goes. You will beat me by many many hours on day four did you uh have you have you finished all six of them so far the the first three days all right let's do this 
and hopefully if we save this please work oh come on oh 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 i know what's happening i know what's happening i know what's happening i know what's happening okay we're okay Uh, okay, I need to fix this somewhere else. I need to fix this over here. So we're gonna come over here. Come here. Breaking, everything's breaking. There's that. And what we need to have is this change. All right, let's see if this works. Please work. There they go. Whoa. Oh, 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 I know what's going on. We're showing, uh... oh, yeah, so, and now, see ya, have a good one. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll check out your stream too. I mean, I'll probably be up for a few more minutes. So I'll, I'll, I'll check you out, man. Appreciate it, Zally. Absolutely been fun. Pure pleasure. Have a good one. Good stream. All right, what's going on? So this is repeating. Also, I need to deal with these. I want to put those in. Is this going to work? Ah, please work. Please work. Please work. Okay, so it doesn't like that somehow. Okay, well, those are just going to be there for now, then. That, okay, so that's what blew it up earlier, was those, that line. All right, how can we get that in there, though? I'd like to see about doing that. No, oh, wait, 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 hang on. Maybe it was working. Where's the end? Because we need to do the end as well. It is working. It is working. I really don't know how I broke it earlier. That is nutso. Let's get a break right there, because I didn't do this. There we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Eighties too many though. Should be about here. Itself. That's kind of funny. All right, I need to look at this. So that's what it's going to look like. Uh, so actually, is that enough for there? That's an 80. Oh, look at that one. That's interesting. 
so we need to add these here, which means we need to do this twice. That is not 80, is it? I think so. 120. Uh, 119, we'll just back it off one row. Did I see Saracana in there? I did see Saracana in there. Oh, I remember that show. <gasps> I haven't thought about that show in forever. This is super interesting. Oh, this is cool. I gotta oh, see. <laughs> what is the I can fix okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, add random cards to pages. All right, I need to see this at what real size is going to be. So here's 100%. We're just going to freak it out because I have 100 pages open right now. And then there's zero. So this, okay, so that's the size. <clears throat> this is awesome. This is awesome. This is really cool. Look, my house. This is awesome. up a little bit. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Uh, <laughs> as I'm just sitting here, and like, I'm not even like reading or looking at the things. Oh, so I need to, okay, I, I got to polish this up. I got to finish this up. So things to do. So much fun. Don't watch it. Oh, something must have updated. Oh, the page updater or something updated. I got it.
Oh, it's also funny because I don't know, like, these, you can't tell when I wrote these things. That should be a thing, an entry. Because I want to have, Okay, I can't I can't stay up too much later doing this because that's bad. That's a bad, bad bipolar thing. Um, and it's a, and the good news is, as excited as I am about this, or as enthused as I am about this, I'm not vibrating with mania, which is a good thing. Thank you, lithium. Um, also, I'm keeping the font sizes here. These are so much nicer. Uh, Oh, like I just, I want to keep playing with it. And that's awesome. Like I'm going to get to keep playing with this thing. Like, and it's the thing to play with. It's, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so cool. So cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Like I'm coming up with things to do for it and like messing around, but it's always just, and I like that idea of just like a step forward, a step forward, a step forward. Sometimes you have an idea over here, but it's like, oh, let's just like, I almost, I could have jumped to the randomness of the cards. I thought that's where I was going to end up, but I like that. I walked through it step by step of just getting like, uh, also because of like, I needed to do all that work anyway. So, Ooh, wow. That may be chill. Um, This is awesome. Okay. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. So, never be that. Oh, I don't know how to get back to the homepage. Because you can't. Oh, that's what I should do. There should be a link. There should be a one random one that's in there that gets you back to the homepage. Um, but, like, that's not what it's about, right? Um... Oh, the last Sunday rhyme. I this is incredible. I haven't thought or seen it. Look at this. This is possibility. This is possibility. I saw the word possibilities. Yeah, I'm going to have to completely rewire the way that all this stuff works, but that's fine. Because, like, there's going to be ones that need to go in. Yeah, so all these go into their own links, so that's fine. Oh, just rang the bell. Oh, I got to read. Oh. It's live. It's live. It's live. It's live. Okay, okay. Focus, 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 focus. I can't stay up too late doing this. I have to not stay up too late doing this. I have to not stay up too late doing this. I need better music. This music is not the music I need right now. Yippee-ki-yay. Damn drum. Well, I do think my hair is getting thinner. I There we go. Okay. So, 
soon you will be able to listen along with me through an out-of-band performance. Oh, out-of-band. That's pretty funny. So, thing we need to do, Visual Studio Code. In our single page. In... That's the big one, that's this one. And I think, max width pros. is not the right thing. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Again, we're, there it is, okay. Width, 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 width. Max width. Max W pros. Ah, oh, so close, so close. I like the short though. I like the short and sweet. Bummer. Possibly okay though. So that's got our title. Here's our content I don't know how to I don't know how to throw a empty space in there. See, it would be slightly better. Oh. Okay, no, this is fine. First iteration. That's all cool. So I'm also gonna hide. this right now. Just so I get a better sense of it. And like, that's cool. I dig this. This is good. How do I copy? I'm gonna go. How do I do this? This? How about card? No. Uh, hang on. I want to open up uh, Zali's. I'm trying to whisper. What does this do? Mod. Timeout. Ban. Whisper. Block report. No, don't do that. No, oh, I clicked on his name. So I clicked on his name and then I had to click on his name again. I'm sorry, their name. Oh, actually this is a bad idea. Well, I don't know if this is a bad idea or not. We'll see what happens. If everything goes nuts, so we'll know it's a bad idea. viewers they they have some viewers we need to use those words z z like in that long 
Journey to a Dark, Dangerous Planet book. Dean is cool. <laughs> and there's no context to this stuff. Oh, the clicky sound. <gasps> choke myself up but not choke because like it's like I don't I'm not holding it back I don't think you're listening to oh I can't sh click this one because I'll get yelled at by YouTube again oh this is funny Ken is cool and it's actually on it again that's super fun whoa how many that's a lot You know, it's funny. Wait, something's wrong. These are like by date or something. Oh, I'm on the main site. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, that's too many. And they're, they were in order. Like, I understand what's happening now. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because it's not forced over too, right? I'm not hallucinating. Yeah, it's going the full width. Okay. Well, that's why I was confused. Here's our padding. We got our padding. But I'm, what I was going to say is, like, I actually, I don't know. Oh, actually, we're going to add more to that, aren't we? Look at that. Single. Single, 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 single. 50. 152. Is that all? Seems like it should be more. It's funny, this is one of the songs that the psychoacoustics make it sound like it's coming from speakers outside. Um. Two hundred and two. Just trying to gauge where the feel of the page should be. Maybe a little long. 182. And I would drop the two. Go back to 180. That's perfect. Undefined. I need to figure out what that one is. It's probably an off by one error. That's probably what it is. But it, like, it didn't blow up, so. Okay. What am I doing? I need to get out of here. So that's cool. You know what I think I'm going to do? What if I would just take on the single? If we just take it all the way out, if we take this all the way out. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, let's keep something in there.
goes the other way. Or does it? Maybe that's not changing the color at all. Oh, it's so nice to have text gray color. It needs to be text. Cool. Gotcha. I think I did that before. One of these days, I'm going to do this so I can... Oh, I missed it again. Text size LG. Nope. <laughs> font size, font size, font size, font size, font size. No, text. Oh, you just do it that way. Text LG. Ah, oh, so I. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to get at some point a better, a different setup for when I'm doing this type of stuff to when I actually want to kind of get into it, right? Um, because I want to, I want to be at the point where I can actually test a little bit and see like changes, changes. So like, zip. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna leave that in. I like this. This is good. But like, I kind of want to be able to. I want to see that transition happen. Um, Okay, 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 okay. I guess I should maybe check this in one other browser at some point. I really hope it works. It's working. Time page work.
I so I just realized I'm streaming, but yes, whatever. I kind of forgot about that. Um, welcome to sometimes just doing content, right? Um, which again, I'm cool with. Like, it's still kind of weird or whatever. Like, when somebody's out there, I like I would have talked, but like, yeah, that's cool. actually that's really interesting that I did that. That's fine. And I've done that before with some of the other stuff when I've just kind of like bounced around and done like my journaling or whatever. Um, also notice links are random. I can't wait. I was supposed to have headphones. They were supposed to have been delivered, and I went and picked them up today, but it wasn't them. It was something else, but like they've been delivered, so I gotta go figure out what happened there. I'm actually going to take these off too and just have it completely random. This is like my little manifesto, so this is gonna like I need another soda. I just said soda. Thank you. 
Yeah. I was going to do the thing. I was going to get my profile link so I could come here and put this in. Oh, you know what's even cooler? Since I'm in whatever, like, after dark mode or whatever. Ah, is better. Uh, and then also, this might not actually hurt. Ah, see, that's still gross. Um, oh, I shouldn't look. Actually, I shouldn't look at Sally's blog. Or what? Oh, he's been going for forty-five minutes, which means I've been. Ah, uh, yep. I can't read it there that way. There's some factor seeing on its first day. Oh, this thing is just not hanging in there.
I hope I'll have meetings in the morning. I don't think I do. I think I looked. Um, Mm. Ah. Fuck.
Oh god, don't start doing that. I want to, so I should go to bed. I can do this in the morning, but wow, do I want to finish this now? All right, it's 1 a.m. I'm not gonna finish this in the next five minutes. I'm not gonna finish this in the next little while. I need to go to bed. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea. Oh my God, you have no idea, dude. This has been so cool. And like, I'm so this is I've been thinking about this for a little while now. This whole idea of the digital garden thing has been kicking around. And so today I was just like, F it and did it. And like, yeah. Digital plants were garden you. I am but the seed. The fertilizer and the gears of the machinery? No, I don't know. There's something going else going on there. I forget that. I think that's was that communist? Did I just become communist? You're going the opposite way of digital garden. You're going into out of the machinery. I don't know what the opposite way is of the digital garden. I'm doing just that for a company that seems to think my site will make money. <laughs> okay. And the biggest and the funniest thing about that, right, is if you looked at the two of us completely independently, like uh, somebody who didn't know either one of us, and you said, which one of these people, the person who works for the PGA Tour or the person or the college professor, which one of them will be doing ad tests for money and which one of them will be making a site completely devoid of ads? <laughs> like, <laughs> that amuses me to no end right now. Um, 100%. No, no, no. And, and like, and that's obviously that's not a criticism. That's nothing like. And that's one of the big things with this, too, that I'm trying to kind of point out and I'm trying to write up here and I'm stuck on is like and like literally you probably just saw it. Oh, is that a click here? Um, yeah, I'm still tossing around the idea for ads. This is not going to be ads. It's never going to be ads for this place. Ads have their place. But like I'm I'm drawing a line around this thing. That's my thing. Um, and and I don't have to make money of it. Like, let's acknowledge I'm hugely privileged that I don't have to try and make money out of everything that I do. So. Granted, 100%. Um, acknowledged, super thankful for it. Um, yeah, we're relatively stable. Um, the, I actually don't even know the financials. Like, we had, well, whatever. We can talk about that stuff offline. Um, but yeah, so, oh, look, it updates too sometimes unintentionally. Um, yeah, this is gonna be really, this is gonna be really neat. Um, Yeah, I'm, dude, I, I can't tell you. It's like, it's this thing is so simple. Like, there's nothing to it. And I'm like, I was thinking I was going to add like little descriptions to these things, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that anymore now. Like, I may just start just throwing content at it. Um, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for as little friction as possible to get stuff done and out. And like, one of the things I was going back and I was looking at all these things, I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to write like little text blurbs for all of these. I was like, well, this will be a process, I'll do it over time or whatever. But like looking at this, it's like, it's fine. Like the titles are fine. Like if somebody doesn't want to click on sync, they don't. There you go. Yeah, it's Hugo. Yep. Um, oh, and actually speaking of which, I need to deploy, uh, which may take a minute. I really gotta go to bed soon. It's like, it's, I gotta, I, 
with the bipolar thing, I just got to watch out. If I get really excited and stay up late, like that can be a sign and or a trigger. So I'm calling it here in just a second as soon as it deploys. Oh, nice. New vault stuff. I guess I can put this where people can see it. Um, were you just building or were you like going around and uh, shooting crazy radiated stuff? All right. This sprite is warm, but I don't care right now. See, I I'm gonna I'm gonna I will get on before too terribly long, um, because I want to see I want to see all the new stuff. I absolutely want to see all the new stuff. Nuclear winter rain revolt, nice. That's cool. That's really cool. But you can do stuff in it, right? It's not just like static. By the way, the stream may blip while I'm doing this, so. No way, nothing? Oh, that's cool. But you can still have people come in, right? And like visit? Of course you can. That would be silly. Not that they haven't done silly stuff before, but that would be silly. That's super cool. Yeah, I... I was, whatever, you know, talking with a therapist over the past couple months about what's been going on headwise and stability and brain coming back online and all that jazz. But like one of the things for me has been I've had this capability that I've never had before. So I kind of don't want to do anything else because I'm afraid I'm not going to have it all the time, but I'm getting more used to having it. So like the idea is increasingly like, oh, OK, yeah, I wouldn't mind playing some Fallout, but like Two weeks ago, it was like, nope, I don't want to do anything other than this. Because I don't know how long I have this. Um, which, granted, philosophically, right? Who long has whatever, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but this stuff, I'm really... Uh, it's a, there's actually somebody on stream with me, basically the entire... Not basically, like, he was on 30 seconds after I was. I'm assuming it's a he. Um, they were on 30 seconds after I was... And stayed with me the whole way, basically. And it was awesome. We were talking back and forth some, gave me some suggestions, like conversation. But at the end, they were like, I feel like we went on a journey. And I was like, hell yeah, we did. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, I lost chat. There it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. And like, there's nothing to it. There's absolutely nothing to it. And I am so cool with that. Like... Literally did it tonight. Let's keep losing chat. Where'd it go? There it goes. Right. Yeah. And it's also, I didn't realize how, um, the variation in the, like the, the titles are all like, you know, some of them are short as a word. Most of them don't go to three lines, but they all fit in the, in the similar, area like all like all the rows are almost unique or almost the exact same height and then occasionally you'll get one that's taller but like it just has a nice feel to it um and then i think it, you saw it too but like if you refresh whoops i just cleared chat <laughs> um but if you refresh they all change too so it's like I really like the idea. I was digging on the idea of the garden and then walking your path through it. And then you may have read the blurb already, but like the whole thing with like, you're, you only get to do this path once. Like, I hope like enjoy it because it's cool. This is for you, only you. And the next time you come back, it's going to be different. So um, it's, there's no, like I took off like for, for, you know, most pages or most sites, right? You have, if I'm on this page, give me the next one or the previous one. So I took those off and I, I've taken off dates. I'm kind of uncomfortable with that from the tech side of things, because if I go and look up 
uh, an answer to a question. I want to know if it's from 2015 versus 2020 because that I'm going to I'm going to judge it differently on the technical scale. And I'm going to have a bunch of tech shit up here. But for right now I'm really digging not having them. So I'm going to like I'm I'm leaning into that for a bit to see how that goes. Um and and I'm really liking it. And it's also fun too for me cuz like I haven't clicked this link in years. Like I haven't seen this page in or this content whatever this blurb this text in years because it was like it was on page i've got a thousand i've got there's a thousand entries so it was like on somewhere on page 80 right it's just i don't know it's it's really and it it also ties directly into my thing that i've been talking about for a while now right of like how do we get stuff to where people are doing stuff that's outside of facebook and outside of whatever and like I felt joy doing this in a way that I haven't felt joy playing on the internet since I first started playing on the internet. And like, like that's, I think we can, I, not I think, we can recapture that. Like we can, or not capture, we can regenerate that, right? Yeah, never get looked at. And that's, and that's part of the fun of this, right? Is it's just like, and, and we, I think we were talking the other day, like sometimes I go back and I look at some of the stuff. Like I saw one a little while ago. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, ugh, that was definitely younger me. But I'm okay with that because that's like, whatever. And if I see one that I really hate, I'll take it down. But like, I I just don't have, I'm, I'm practicing not worrying about that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's cool. I'm digging it. Oh yeah, check it out. Emmy, who would have thought? I forgot that I won an Emmy. Now I remembered. I got an Emmy. Um, I mean, like my name is on it for technical Emmy with a whole bunch of other people. Not like I won an Emmy, but um, but as far as mom concerned, I won an Emmy. As mom is concerned. Mom's very proud of that. Uh, all right, let me see how this is going. Oh, it's going to be a bit. I may just have to walk away from this. I really, I, it's, I need to go to bed. Um, and that's going to take some time to do. I really want to, I really wanted to polish this. Ah, I don't know how to get back to the homepage without doing this. Cause there is no way you have to do that. I've probably spent an hour on this so far. And it's one of those, like, I want this one to sing a little bit. So, uh, I'm just going to have to go to bed and call it and do it later. Yeah, it's, th it's three gig and I don't have a fast connection um, and streaming isn't helping it. Um, but anyways, yeah, I got to I got to tap out. Um, I keep on playing with it, though. Uh, yeah, it's two in the morning. God, I have to let go. This is also a new experience for me. Historically, that is letting go and turning off of a thing that I'm not done on is not is not a thing that I would do. So this is me, whoops, almost spilling a drink and doing that. Uh, have a good night. You're right. We'll talk to you on Discord. Oh, be in voice chat? Okay, cool. I'll swing in. Uh, I got some meetings or whatever, but like I'll find time. So, or when I'm in between or whatever. Anyways, great talking to you. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. If anybody else is watching, I hope you enjoyed my exuberation at this, even though I don't think that's a word. See you all. Bye.